Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gems show. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. My head was doing is, can, is oh, a bit squeaky. It's not my knees. It's not my knees. Do you think I need to change my chair? <laughs> Doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> should we swap the? Should we swap the? I think we're gonna have to. Sorry, but that's gonna. Work. What do you mean now? Great start to a show, isn't it? It's a great start. To... Do you know I'm gonna? Do you mind? Because I think that's gonna really annoy everyone. I'm so sorry, Amelia. It's my fault. So I'm just getting another chair, everyone. Excuse me. We'll start the show again in a minute. Whoops, a Daisy. I'm now. I'm dropping everything. Hi. I'm all right. I'm. I'm coming. I'm, I know. I'm wrecking the joint. Hang on. I'm coming back. Come on. It's studio help. Quick! Oh, 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 that's a funny chair. Oh, and I start, I'm right. starting it again. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. We're starting it again. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I quite like it. Oh, hi. Hi! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm on a high chair. <laughs> I was, we just thought we'd start the show again. Hi! Hello! If ever they review one of my shows for one of my training appraisals and they'll go, how not to start a show, <gasps> just replay that one. I love that with my head. Anyway, hello. Happy Tuesday. Guess what we're going? We're going around the world. We're going to Africa. Now, the good news is, guess what else is like in... Is it East Africa? Is it South East Africa? Hmm. Madagascar. East Africa? Madagascar. Madagascar's in Africa, so that's handy, isn't it? Because we get loads of amazing gemstones from Madagascar, don't we? Right.
right then, I'm going to introduce my professional team, other than myself, Leah on Cameras on the Late Show. There she is. I have Adam directoring in the gallery, very lovely man. And then their amazing producer, who is at the helm of the, of the uh, ship, the lovely Becky. And we don't have Lucy this evening because she's on holiday. So we've got Amelia, your brick, please don't... Oh. <laughs> no. Health and safety. <laughs> Are we really? <laughs> <laughs> Adam just said we've had some complaints. I thought, oh no, we haven't, have we? And then, if I were to say she has the best eye makeup, the wackiest, <laughs> most fantastic dress sense, and the biggest Cheshire grin on her face, could you guess who, what guest is on her we've got? Could you guess from that description? <laughs> Katie Reed! Yay! Hey! Katie Reed, we've had a Whitby bun, haven't we? Yeah. Was it a Whitby bun? Was it Whitby? I think so, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Stuffed with lemon curd, oh, wasn't it? Oh, it was delicious. Oh, and sultanas. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. well nice. I've just put one over there. And Yum Yum's got... I oh, went to the discounted Rocky Marks and Spencer's today. <laughs> the Yum Yum's got other donuts and shops and things are available. Yes, I'm just... We're full on sugar. Um, so anyway, right then. So we are after, uh, off to Africa. I feel very high. I quite like it. quite like it. Uh, we've got some Murano glass. We've got Tiger's Eye. We've got Labrador... Is it our Nikki? Hi, Katie, Leah, Amelia, Becky and Adam. It is going to be epic. I've been making a seed bead embroidered dog pool brooch. Oh, Nikki, by the Aww. way. Nikki, thank you for your lovely message. Thank you for your lovely card. Thank you for the package. And I can confirm, Simon, the merchandising manager, has your sloth key, roll, cut, <laughs> sloth key ring dangling from his belt. Ooh. Doesn't he, team? Yes. He does indeed. And he said to say thank you because he doesn't have you on Facebook. He said to say a big thank you, Nikki. So thank you very much. Um, okay, I've got some Tiger's Eye on the show this evening. She's really different as a star by. Look at these. Beautiful, these are. Tiger's Eye, one of the most well-known gemstones from South Africa. Look at those. Don't they go nice with my top? They do. They do, don't they, Katie? Yeah. Love? Yeah. But look, what I love about that, that is every colour of Mookite in a single strand, isn't it? All the colours you want. In those beautiful drops. Fabulous. What did you say? Did I call it Tiger's Eye? Yeah. Is that why you're all laughing at me? <laughs> what is wrong with me at the minute? <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I walked, I mean, I've called, I've called, I've called every guest is <clears throat> on since Sunday morning, Alison. <laughs> so I want a pre warning now. <laughs> That'll probably be the only KT you get all night. Yeah. I'll, I'll pre-warn you. And then today, I wanted to go and ask the, the kit team something. So I walked down the corridor. It's not far, is it, to the kit team? What, a few feet? I walked down the corridor. By the time I got... I, I, could, I could feel it evaporating out. My head has got there. And I said, no idea what I'm coming here for. Do you know what that is? Do you think I'm jet-lagged? Do you think I'm jet-lagged? Yeah. Don't you dare say menopause. <laughs> Don't you dare say menopause again to me. It's five past six and she's... I'll jet lag you in a minute. Right then, now I do have the ultimate gemstone of all time. I mean, there's going around the world and then there's going back to the original formation of the planet. Yeah, so forget that airplane. We've got on a right rocket here. We have got zircon. But I've got a multicoloured zircon in the most exquisitely faceted drops you've ever seen. Limited edition, 79 only. So today's absolute, unquestionable, must have... Katie Reid. That is stunning. Isn't it, that though? That is absolutely stunning. Oh, and, it, yeah. it, and do you know what, as well? That has got some of the most sought-after colours. The, the sort of champagne tone zircon is so popular right now. Beautiful reds and purples on there and sherry tones and gorgeous champagne tones. Oh, my word, it is the most beautiful strand. Limited edition. Today's must-have. I tell you what, we must have done something right, mustn't we? To be able to bring this to you for the late show, today's must-have, I tell you. Absolutely incredible. I've got Chrysocola, I've got Mookite, I've got Tiger's Eye, I've got Dendrite Opal, I've got Pearls, I've got Twisted Labradorite, I've got Blue Lace Agate, to name but a few for you, my lovelies, this evening. In the 7 o'clock as well, in the 7 o'clock hour, once we've done the kit, everything else in that hour going under... 
Very good. Yeah. We like that on the late show. We do. We like it. Ooh. Now it's Tuesday or is it Cubes Day? Hey. <laughs> oh, that's great. You love Cubes Day. <laughs> oh, that was quite good. Cubes Day. Because we've got cubes. There. I like. Now that's off Madagascar, isn't it? We can do this. I like him big. I like him chunky. <laughs> that's off Madagascar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like him big. <laughs> I like him chunky. <laughs> so there you go. We could sing songs from. Um, we could Africa, couldn't we? Was it Toto Africa? I didn't hear what you said in the gallery. Oh yeah. It was Toto in Africa, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. See. What did you lot say, Zoe? Has somebody messaged in that I could be... Is that a customer message in who? Who's messaged in that? Who's mess... Has somebody genuinely messaged in that? <laughs> that's the second person that said that to me today. That's the second person that said to me today I could be pregnant. Oh dear, I'm not. Honest. Seven to nine mil. Oh gosh, I can really hear the rain coming down. They had the most fantastic hailstorm today as well, where I live. Those are beautiful, aren't they? Joking aside, when you've got that wonderful phenomenon of that lovely cat's eye, tiger's eye, that ripples across the surface and gives you that lovely, great big diamond facets there as well, aren't they? Tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is a bit like pearls. Never gone out of fashion, has it? No. Mm, no, it n never gone definitely out of fashion. Definitely not. I mean, these are definitely like something that's a very... Um, Recognisable gemstone mm. as well, isn't it? So yeah. Do you fancy a lip? Do you? A lip and a lowest ever price. Okay. We are going to do something exceptional for you, Tiger's Eye. Now we talked about an under ten showcase in seven o'clock. Everything but the kit. Not everything but the girl. Everything but the kit. <laughs> We're going to offer you Tiger's Eye at a third of the price that it should be. Don't you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen gorgeous treats there of Tiger's Eye. Great big seven to nine mil cubes. Do you know, we all love Tiger's Eye here, don't we? We certainly do. We do. There's something really special about yeah. Tiger's Eye. And I love it when they get Tiger's Eye on the Antiques Roadshow. Because... <laughs> Listen, oh, the professionals are in this evening. <laughs> Happy days. Be careful, Amelia. We don't want you to get hurt. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the professionals. Oh, do you remember that with Bodie and Doyle? And Gordon Jackson, That's I used to love name. that. Bodie. Is it? Yeah. Is it because of the professionals? No, her name's actually Bodicea, but we oh, call her oh, Bodie. Oh, yes. oh, right, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Liz. That, that was, we, we deserve that. Yeah. Uh, Shandy said, Zena, I'm worried about you. I, I don't blame you. They're all worried about you. Have you been home this week? I know. <laughs> I know. You've been with us loads. Not complaining, though. Oh, God, I just said that. I'll start to panic then. I, do you know what the good news is? Assuming nobody rings in sick. I'm not on now till Friday night. Got two days off. Yeah, got two whole days off. <laughs> well, I say off. It's not going to then clean and tidy and I've got to make the bed when I get in. And you know when you've done, you know, like your mattress protector, I've washed that as well. And my tick pillar cover cases. You know, so I've got to do two pillar cases on two pillars. And my mattress protector. And my sheet. And my quilt cover when I get in tonight. And put the bins out. And put the bins out. Stop it there. Yeah, but thank you, Shandy. I'll take I'll take that as a lovely compliment because you are so kind to me. But yeah, don't worry. But then, but then, brace yourselves next week because I'm in a lot next week as well. Oh, it's shocking. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm on Monday morning. I'm on Wednesday morning. I'm on Friday morning, Friday mid, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Monday night, Tuesday night, and a, and two DVDs. Sorry. Book holiday. <laughs> Grab yourselves a week off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, stars, love, the, love, just stars, I think, are the most popular symbol, the most, yeah. the most positive, not popular, po not popular, popular, yes, but positive um, is the word I meant. Yes. Because if you think, when you start at school, 
You, certainly when we back in our day, you'd have them sticky stars, didn't you? That oh, you the gold stars. Yeah. yeah. Well, gold if you were, or silver, yeah. didn't you? Gold and yeah. silver stars were really good work. So there's that. Then you talk about being a film star, Hollywood star. The 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 thingy of what's the thingy? Oh, is it the hall of the Walk of Fame, Walk of Fame isn't yeah. it? That's stars. Yeah, in Hollywood. You know, so you think about the word star, beautiful starry, starry night. Stars. You what, sorry? <laughs> Marie's up in the stars. Yeah, I said, what, her airplane's gone a long way. She, she'd need an oxygen mask, wouldn't she, to be fair, up there? I'm a bit worried about her there. She looked, no, she looks a bit spaced out, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, stars, really positive, aren't they? Stars is a positive, positive symbol. It really is. So if you get a star on a piece of jewellery, gosh, yeah. it's so wearable, doesn't it? My dad, he's got a, um, a tiger's eye bracelet, stretchy bracelet that I made for him, and it's got Your a pyrite dad. star in there. Oh, nice. And he was so devastated because it broke, so he phoned me up. So I made him another oh. one, and then he went away and, and he couldn't find it, so he was really devastated. So I made oh. him another one, but he found that one, so now he's got two. But, yeah, so it's, it's kind of... What the you made in jewellery that didn't break in the first place, well, Casey? Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, dads are like, but dads catch things. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's I've made things for my dad. Exactly. Like you know what it's I'm like. only joking for Edward Edwards says, stop giving Katie our time. <laughs> 595. Right. 595. Katie, look, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That yeah. means, what, 50p each? Is that 50p for a star? Yeah. What, 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 what you're at? What, what in? She's done it. Five nights you Leah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Honestly, they've had too much sugar this lot tonight. They've had too much sugar. Um, Neil, Zena, you're a little star. Aww. Aww. Is that boyfriend, Neil? Uh, hang on a minute, Neil. If that is boyfriend, Neil, you know, where's the third kiss? Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Oh, dear. Oh, has he got to that stage, has it? <laughs> are you now dropping a kiss? Hang on, boyfriend, girlfriend, do three kisses. If that's my meal, you're in big fat trouble. Oh, oh he's in big fat trouble now. That oh, a, that was a little bit that awkward. Was, oh, that was awkward. <laughs> no, me and Neil do three each. Oh, that's awkward. What are we going out three months now? Perhaps that's the time when the kisses start to drop off. Oh, I don't know, 20 years and he gets an angry face from me. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Right then, 5.95. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Do you know we've got every shape of tiger's eye? We do? We've given you a lovely selection of tiger's eye. The wonderful, wonderful tiger's eye. There you go, look. They are... They've That's got a lovely, yeah. You know what, darling? I said, That's lovely. It is lovely. It is. I love it when you get... It's lovely. <laughs> You're so lovely. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. Graduated as well. I'm just going to pop those down onto the hand if I may. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, darling. So, what we have with... And the reason we give you a graduation is sometimes people prefer to do a larger pendant and smaller earrings, or the graduation to give you that beautiful, um, gorgeous uh, sort of shape on the neckline like that as a necklace as well. Um, beautiful with tigers. I'm very, very popular in men's jewellery. Um, it's gorgeous, it? and it is said to d uh, give you uh, willpower if you believe in crystal healing and things like that. It's said to be a very protective stone, said to um, bestow courage on the wearer. Uh, and it is also, do you know why jewellery makers love Tiger's Eye? If you believe in the whole crystal, you know, crystal positive creativity, Adam. Yeah. So that's why jewellery makers are very partial to a, 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 a Tiger's Eye, because it, it is said to promote creativity, focus the mind, and cultivate clear thinking. Mm-hmm. So the idea is, is that you've got this beautiful, um, beautiful gemstone with a small ray of light on the surface. That's what you, that's what that effect is of your um, beautiful chatoyancy. And when it's cut properly, it ripples across the surface to deliver a beautiful, supposedly, eye of the tiger. That's the whole reason it was called the tiger's eye. And it is gorgeous. And that lovely golden yellow colour that you're getting there is actually produced by the presence of brown iron. So that's why sometimes we deliver you a, an iron's tiger's eye. Now, Nick, oh, that's better. That's be I mean, you've gone slightly over the top now, let's be honest, but thank you, darling. Is it me? 
Is it me or does it... I'm sorry about this. I've got a funny odour in this studio today. I haven't... I've taken my shoes off, but I don't... Is that because really there is that. a funny odour that's just suddenly... <laughs> oh! <laughs> my, my shoes are over there. I don't know, but then there's a right waffy odour in this studio at the minute, and it is not me. I can't smell it. Maybe it is my feet. <laughs> Sorry, but it's a bit waffy, if I'm honest. <laughs> anyway, do you know what? We'll just fumigate the studio. We'll go to a, to a star by. Any Febreze? <laughs> the sprays aren't available. <laughs> I'm joking. It isn't. <laughs> oh, Leah! She's gone all over me. Sprayed in. Dear, and it's all wet now. Look. Can I have some toilet roll, please? I'm so sorry about this. Oh, I'm so sorry about it. There's some here, darling, could you...? Oh. Honestly. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry, we were only teasing. Right, thank you. Thank you. No more spraying, you lot, please. No more spraying. Amelia. I wish we'd have no more spraying, they're not quite good. I almost like having a bunch of kids. Thank you, darling. Well, that smells better. There you go. Oh. Leave your shoes off now. So, Tiger's Eye. It's not, it's not Katie, we're joking. It's not Katie. It's not, it's not Katie. I'm joking. I'm joking. So, Tiger's Eye. Now then, these are a very fancy shirt. These are desperate to be made into beautiful big pendants, aren't they? Look. Oh, wow. That's fun. They're huge, aren't they? Look at those. And I tell you what, don't we stack them on? Don't we absolutely stack them it on a strand? certainly do, yeah. I love the way that they're actually... I would actually probably just re-strand that because would I you? love the way that they sort of, like, sit just yeah. sort of above one another. Yeah, it it's very really sexy. Cool, yeah. i tell you what, what a lovely, unusual shape. It's, it's so unusual because, actually, if you look here, I mean, it's not a round, it's not an oval, it's not a hexagon. It's like a mixture of everything, isn't it? Mm. Really beautiful. Those gorgeous brown and golden stripes, I just think they're fabulous. Real sort of milk, dark chocolate, swirling with caramel. Beautiful, and it's been fascinating human beings for thousands and thousands of years. Um, and if you could, I mean, you remember the, obviously, when you go back to the Roman times, the Roman soldiers used to wear the tiger's eye as a talisman. They thought it would protect them. And uh, it was often set into their swords and their helmets. So it's a, it's a really... Historic gemstone as well, you know, incredible, just beautiful. Turn around, there you go. I sort of share that with you, tiger's eye. Now then, primarily mined in South Africa. Occasionally found in Western Australia and Burma and India, but primarily South Africa. Massive carat weight as well, 118 carats of delicious tiger's eye. And I think as Katie said, this is a key point actually, we're talking about selling jewellery. People buy what they know. Yes. That's why yeah. amethyst is so popular. Mm. Pearls are so popular. The big four, you, people are used to rubies and sapphires and diamonds and yes. emeralds because yeah. it's what we know. And we're comfortable buying what we know, aren't we? We just feel comfortable. So we do your weekly shop, you know what you want. It's comfortable. As soon as there's something a little bit out there, you're a bit, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, those are just gorgeous. Now, that again, would you believe that we could actually... It's a star buy. You know what we like here at Joy? We're going to actually beat half price. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! We are. We're actually going to take it under about ten of pounds. Do you know, I've been that busy since Shandy messaged in then. Do you know how busy I've been? I've still got my pancake batter in the fridge. That's how busy really? I've been. Still got my pancake batter in the fridge. Has it not gone off? It hasn't gone off now. <laughs> you can put that message on. Come on, let's name it. Is it anonymous? I bet. No, it's Jilly Susie. What's it? <laughs> Those who smelt it usually dealt it, Zena. I'm just saying. Well, it wasn't me. 
Was it me, Jenny but then Susie? People, what's it? Those who mm-hmm. deny it sometimes supply it. <laughs> so that, so that, could, be so that could be him. <laughs> so we're back to Katie again. <laughs> No, there's a lot of bodies in this studio, in and out and in and out. And there's no windows, and it just had a funny odour today. If you don't mind. Sometimes you need just a bit of air. Don't you just need a bit of air? I felt tonight was a bit mm, pungent. The word was pungent. Oh, that's a good word. That's a good like word. That. Pungent. Pungent. Yeah. But um, yeah, so well done, everybody. Joking aside, glorious, beautiful tiger's eye, and I, again, I think just the most unusual, gorgeous shape. Hello, Mirabelle, darling. Now, Mirabelle, can I just say as well, I've seen your message on Facebook. I do hope you are feeling better soon, sweet pea. She's having a tough time, is our Mirabelle, at the minute. So, uh, but I know she's a big fan of Tiger's Eye. So, well done, you, lovely. She just checked her out. Uh, her truth, congratulations, collector Sandra, Vivian, and Alison, Adele. How are you, Alison, in the city of Bristol? I see you regularly coming up, and it'd be lovely to talk to you if ever you fancy messaging in. It really would. Um, well done on those. Beautiful. Yes, exactly, Becky. Now then, would you agree? I mean, we've bought you those, we've bought you some big pieces of tiger's eye, haven't we, at the minute? And do you think it's lovely sometimes to set your jewellery um, with little accent stones or, you know, spacers or just to, just to add that lovely little bit of, I'd say, je ne sais quoi. Wait. Mais oui, je ne sais quoi. Adam says je ne sais quoi. So... We're going to give you some microfaceted. Yeah. We're going to give you some microfaceted tiger's eye. Even the name's sexy, isn't it? Yeah. Microfaceted, <laughs> two mil. And do you know what's brilliant? Do you know what's brilliant about tiger's eye? Even in those teeny, 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 tiny two mil, you can still... See, the Chateauian see. Yeah, absolutely. This is actually probably one of my most favourite cuts of the tiger's eye. Is it what, in a micro facet? Yeah, yeah. And that and the cabochon, because these, just encasing the cabochon around some seed beads as well, would be Do a bezel absolute, set. Yeah. 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 Absolutely stunning. And I'll tell you what, actually, I've got the perfect, perfect seed beads to bezel set with these. Um, or, or to bezel set tiger's eye, if you want to go away from the micro faceted, some of the larger sizes in uh, Katie's kit coming up. Just giving you a little scoot along there. Look at that. The sparkle coming off these. And I tell you what, when you want a facet on a gemstone, you want it to really sparkle, don't you? Sometimes you want the non-facet look. Yes, yeah. But when you want facets, you might, if you want a facet, you want it to sparkle. Of course you do. If course you want you sparkle, do. you want yeah. sparkle. Exactly. Exactly. You want it half, half no. You want it per the ding. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Ta-da! Excusez-moi. Oh, oh, come, no, hang on, and excuse me, I'm so sorry. I know we've not had the most professional starts, so that's really naughty, darling, on a microfaceted gemstone. I'm saying that's a bit naughty. <laughs> that's not right, really, so let's be honest. It's it, you know, come on. I mean, you know, that is... It's a bit naughty. Yeah, it is, it is a little bit naughty. Oh, it, it's naughty, but it's good for everybody else. Yeah, it is, but it's not fair for the poor person that's faceted and well, no. polished, no. This is very true. I haven't even threaded them. Uh, now, Joe Marie collected Sandra Margot. Hello, Margot, lovely face. Michelle, Jonathan, Candy. Uh, Sandra's had three, Margot's had two, Deborah's had two. Just quickly, we only had how many? Right, 24, and I've actually got less than, less than 15 available now because everybody's having two and two and three. All right? Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. It is brilliant, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to... Obviously, I don't want to make you feel... You know, zing, behave yourself, don't moan about the prices. It's, I'm not moaning about the prices. It's brilliant, I'm really happy for you, but I just... <laughs> I am... Um, just that makes me feel mildly uncomfortable the amount of work gone into that, but hey-ho, hey-ho. Now then... I have, okay, there are only four remaining, okay, four remaining, that is it. These are, I've got one of these, amazing. Have you seen these? The palm oh, stones wow. of Labradorite. Oh, I tell you, they're just, ink. the performance is undeniable. It really, really is. Now, can I do it in the studio? Hang on a second. There you go, look. Look at that. 
Isn't it? Isn't it fascinating? That certainly is. This isn't it. These are massive. These are what we class as a palm stone. The idea being because it fits in, covers the palm of the hand. Look, as you see there. Look. Obviously, depending on the size of your hand, but that's the idea of them. And they are glorious. Now, whether you do, if you think that's too set, too big to set into jewellery, fair enough. Totally get that. It is huge. I'm sure there'd be some people out there that would set it into jewellery. Why did you look at me? I did look at you because <laughs> you're just the person that would wear that in jewellery. <laughs> you and Gem Hawks. Um, but these are lovely to, to, to actually have just as a loose, beautiful gemstone to to show you all the delights of uh, gorgeous, amazing Labradorite. Beautiful Labradorescence. What I like about this is, even on the edge there in that recording, what you can actually, you can actually see, there you go, um, just to show you on the edge there, can you see, just on the edge, just as the, because obviously the way the light is in the, rec in the recording box, it's above, so hence why you might be looking at that thinking, oh, why is the rest of the stone not showing, because the light's only on the edge. And look how the edge performs. Those beautiful, you've got turquoise to, to the different sort of, almost like a barcode of blue, then going into greens, then going to yellows and golds. And that's just on that tiny edge alone. When the actual gemstone gets turned over and you actually see the light hit the main surface of that palm stone, my goodness me, you've got a really beautiful, huge 240 carat, incredible stone there to, to possess for less than 20 pounds that's a beautiful spin liz my darling girl in kent well done sweet pea deborah well done as well collectors we've created a little bit of a wait i believe on the phone line there but the good news is the phone line is free free, free phone. Open, then. <laughs> phone lines are <laughs> open <laughs> it always makes me laugh when they do that on these I, it just isn't it i love watching a program where you haven't got to vote yeah. Oh, I've never voted. No. I refuse. I don't think refuse. I've ever voted. Not voting. <laughs> I pay my television licence. I don't mind doing that. Yeah. I ain't paying to vote as well. Just saying. Oh, look at me on my soapbox. All right, mood was then. Sorry. Sorry. I have got Madagascar. Now, Madagascar is in Africa, thank goodness, because that's where we've gone on our travels. We've brought you some beautiful South African tiger's eye on our travels, myself and Marie. We've brought you some beautiful Madagascan Labradorite, which is where we get an awful lot of our stunning, most incredibly high-performing Labradorites these days. And now we are even bringing you, now this doesn't happen very often, but we've got this delicious bright yellow sapphire. Now, if you managed to get on the Late Show last night, that brilliant cut half a carat sapphire that, if I recall correctly, we went under £20 on. That would go beautifully with this strand, wouldn't it? It's all right, it's being fell from the studio roof then. <laughs> oh, my word. I've got to know what it was, but it did, it just fell. Anyway, brightest, beautiful, <laughs> fabulous, gorgeous tones of... Well, I think this would go with the zircon, but I also think this would be the beautiful accompaniment to the tiger's eye. Fact, can oh, yeah, I, can I show the, yeah. you that? Do you mind? Sorry, darling. What? I know, I was saying that would bring out the... Yeah, it would, wouldn't the, it? The yellowish tones yeah. in the oh, tiger's yeah. eye. Oh, hang on, look at that, Katie. Oh, that's sexy. That is reaps. Oh, look, look. Oh, yeah. So if you had a really nice, like... Um, animal print sort of leopard print top or something and you wanted to, not Which to wear is leopard bang print. bang on trend again yeah. i know i've i've been buying today <laughs> half, <laughs> half of that bag's animal print <laughs> honestly do you know what i went shopping with my goddaughter uh the other week and i bought my first ever leopard skin print top because it was just there i said are they in that every shop we went in she went they're in and i thought you know what i'm gonna i'm an annie spent 3.99 let's be honest but so much so tom producer tom never compliments me the other day I went I like that new top you were in the other day. I said, which one? He went, oh, it's my tiger's eye one. Uh, my tiger's eye, my <laughs> tiger's eye. <I'm> obsessed. <laughs> 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 I have done tiger's eye for half an hour on the show this evening. I'm obsessed with tiger's eye. True. But you know what I mean? Yeah, see, leopard, leopard print. Leopard print. Yeah. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. You're not old. I am. It's official. I'm actually getting old. <laughs> So, that 
is, if you don't mind me saying, you know, we talk about the deal of the day. We are going to be doing a regular slot on the Late Show here called the Steal of the Day. Oh, yeah. Aren't we, Becky Love? And that is exactly the kind of treat that we bring you, which never go under 30. Never, ever, ever go should go under 30, but my goodness me. And the great thing is we know, don't we, with sapphires, that it's one of the hardest gemstones on the planet, beatable only by diamond. So that is the perfect strand to pop on the wrist as if you want to fancy it as a bracelet. Well done. Well done. Welcome. Bienvenue. Welcome. En cabaret. En cabaret. Oh! Oh! Oh, again, we've got some really quirky shapes on the show tonight. Botswana. It's in Africa. I love these. I do. I love Botswana. Yeah. I go. Because for me, I, you know when you go, I love going for a walk anywhere where there's running water. Yes. You know when you see a lovely fast running water river or mm. brook, in fact particularly a brook, and they all, always seem to be really, really, um, it, it, really transparent water, and you see all those lovely colourful pebble stones. Yeah. I love it, I My do. My sister's got a, a river running oh, through her shame. garden. Yeah, and, and Up in Cumbria? Yeah. So oh. when, when I go up there and I just I just stand in the stand in the brook and that and it's just all like coming it down is, and I, yeah and you can just see like you say all of they're the, lovely smooth yeah. pebbles aren't they yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> lovely anyway these are really cute I've got some beautiful rounds coming up in a moment as well of tiger's eye for you <laughs> did I say it again it's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with me goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> Oh, somebody yeah. take me off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My brain, I think I've been on too much. My brain is mush. My brain is absolute mush. <laughs> sorry. So, do you have days like that? Do you have days like that? Tina, you've had a week like that, though. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? All right, Katie Reid. You've had a week like that. She said she's... she's one I've been like it since Sunday. I'll give her that. I'll give her that. I've, had, I've been bad since Sunday. I've been having too much sleep, I think. OK, we've taken those. Now, that's what I wanted to show you, look. Doesn't the rounds of those lovely, uh, beautiful nuggets go great together? Got these fantastic... Botswana agate. Coming up, Botswana Agate, fabulous, beautiful markings, which we just love. They look fantastic. Silver tones, browns, pinks, beautiful cream silvers, just the loveliest, loveliest strands of your Botswana. Can we do those rounds? Do you mind? I just think they go so well together. Thank you, sweet pea. I just... Oh. Big huff and a puff in here, then. <sighs> yeah, because that's going to make a difference, isn't it? Yeah. OK, my lovelies, we have got... Oh, I'm so excited as well. Do you know what I did on this afternoon? Filming a DVD with Mark Smith on Friday night, and I was thinking, oh, I could really do my hair cut, but I don't know if I'm going to... Anyway, hairdressers only going to fit me in right before I come into work so that I look really... Hair looks nice and blow-dried for the da da, -da. I was really excited. I went, oh, thanks. He went, oh, he said, we've got to make you look good for the DVD. I went, we ain't got that long. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, right then, so, 12 mil dingity-dong rounds. Oh, wow. These are lovely. These are very mm. cashmere-y, I think. They like, remind me of a cashmere jumper, these Yeah, ones. they do, yeah. don't they? But that is, that is the most beautiful, dare I say, quite nude look. Yes. You know when you put, like, you know, you know when... You know, but you know when you like have a lovely pair of nude shoes? Yeah. Yeah, and, it, and a nude bag, and it just works with everything. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Mm. Speaking of nude, I bet we get Elizabeth messaging tonight, saying she's in the bath again. We'll have our nudie-doody alert. 
So ZTKY20 on your Botswana agate. I think we should send these to what's the face that wrong, wrote that song? Who wrote that song? Girls bots wanna have fun. <laughs> Who was that? Girls bots wanna have fun. Who was that? Cindy Lauper. Was it Cindy yeah. Lauper? She yeah. wrote the musical Kinky Boots I've just been to see. Did she? Yeah. Oh. She wrote that. Just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, can I put those on? They're, oh, they're so fantastic. Let me just show you, look. Girls bots wanna have fun. Gorgeous, aren't they? Jan, see that I know your problem. Oh, please tell me, Jan. It's the new man. It's love, baby. Do you, know, do you think that's what it is, Jan? Do you think I've gone do lally tap? <laughs> Since I've got a bit. Do you think? Does it? Does it? Can it affect you like that when you love someone? Can it? Can it? Yeah. I guess. I could have, I guess. <laughs> the big romantic over here. I guess. Oh, Jan. Who says I love him, Jan? I haven't said that on air yet. I do. He's very lovely. He's very lovely. Especially when he's jet washing me decking. Let's <laughs> 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 <To> be honest. <laughs> Me decking. What's wrong with you, Reed? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I've told you, she's had a Whitby bun. She's full of lemon curd. That, I tell you, honestly, that zine of that sugar, I've lost her completely. Look at her, full of lemon curd. But if you want to be full of lemon curd as well, it's really not a problem. <laughs> anyway, so we're back to Ma <laughs> back to Madagascar. <laughs> I've lost Katie. Good job she's going to do a kit for a bit, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. so thank you, Jan. You are sweet to message in. Thank you. Yeah, let's keep the messages coming in tonight. Let's have a fully interactive show. Come on, Becky. Let's get every message on where we can. <laughs> oh, let's have a gossip. It's having a love it when we have a gossip with everybody. It's great fun. So, beautiful, gorgeous Labrador. Now then, I have got something very lovely to go with these. May I show you a star buy that I have coming up momentarily? Well, my lovelies. Twisted Labradorite. Ooh, they're oh, unusual, oh, they? I knew that yeah. piqued your interest. Ooh, she says. Great big ovals, but then they've got a twist to them. A little twisty, gorgeous, amazing Labrador. We're going to do those for you. They're completely natural. They're super affordable. We will do those for you this hour. Yes, I didn't like to say them. Um, yeah. So, 25 carats of beautiful Labradorite, as our lovely uh, crush says. Or Labradorite, as we say. 30 centimetres, 2 by one mil to 4 by 2 mil. I thought... Oh, what the heck? Have you broken the graphics? Ah. Oh. Tell you what, wouldn't those look nice with the um, Botswana agate as well? Yes, they certainly they will. They? They? Yeah. Mm. Again, it's that sort of like, whenever I imagine a cashmere, I mean, I know cashmere jumpers come in a variety of colours, but I always think of like, silver. A, a, like a yeah, grey yeah, or agree. silver sort of colour. Yeah. Have you got one? No. No. <laughs> That's why we have to imagine them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we? Do you have one? But uh, yeah, look at that. Now, that's just what I just wanted to prove to you. There's no, no point me just saying, oh, don't they? Would they go lovely? I just wanted to prove it. <whistles> now, sticking with some blues, some beautiful blues, my lovelies. Uh, we have got two star bar more star bars to fit in in the next 15 minutes, so we're going to have to speed up a bit. Okay, it's a star. Bye.
I just had karma delivered to me in the studio with a great big shovel. <laughs> Katie was laughing. I told her off and she went <clears throat> and slipped off. The I went, you slipped off the desk and I laughed and I whacked my finger <laughs> on the edge of the desk, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of them evenings, I tell you. Is it these? Um... Ooh. These would make lovely rings or earrings. Oh, oh, I like that. Never seen blue lace. You won't expect to see this when you see the blue lace I get now. The claw. I'm rubbish with this claw. I'm actually. I'm not very good with it. The claw. Stunning. Eight mil, perfect, beautiful rounds of really gentle blue lace agate. Three and a half carats, so by my calculation, does that make them one, one and three quarter carats each? Yeah, they're pretty. Would you think prong set earrings, because I'm kind of showing you what a prong set would look like with the claw, aren't I? Yes, yeah, definitely. A pair of earrings, or um, we had the prong setting day last week. Gem setting, yeah, didn't gem we? Yeah, gem setting, yes. yeah. And um, there were some uh, eight mil rings on there with, like, um, the... Ooh, were there? Yeah. Oh, that I didn't you could see. actually put those in. So oh, great. You could probably, you know, if you've, if you've got a couple of those uh, in the... In the um, in the deal there, you could probably yeah. make yourself a ring and then somebody else a ring for that. They're really Aww. nice. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, come here, come here, come on. I'm trying it in tweezers now. Oh, please, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, I wanted to shake. Don't ding. It's gonna go across the studio. I can feel it happening. There you go. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of what size that would scale-wise on the finger. Beautiful blue lace agate. Now the first person, hello, oh, I haven't seen you for a while, hello Lois. <sighs> Lois, <laughs> she's Florida. No, is it Lois Lane? It no, Lois it's Lane? not Lois Lane, there are other Loises out there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Now then, what's good, isn't it? Is that, oh, my that's words. for two. Oh, nice one, yeah. my friend. Oh, she's showing off now. That's very lovely to get two perfect, beautiful, flat bottom rounds, isn't it, in a cabochon like that? Eight mil. Set them however you may wish. You may want to glue them onto, some, uh, onto a backing fabric and then bezel set around, couldn't you? Perfect, absolutely. I mean, we've got some uh, black seed beads coming up in the kit as well. We have so indeed. You could, you could use those with that as well. Mm, we could. Hello, David. My lovely friend David's. Oh no, hang on, everybody's having a multi buy. You would, though, wouldn't you? Because if you buy two, you haven't, even broke, you haven't even broken eight pounds, have you? Who's that yawning in there? <laughs> Becky? <laughs> Who was it? Adam, was it you? <laughs> Do you know, honestly, <laughs> I, the rudeness of this team is shocking, isn't it, Katie? Yes. Yes. Shocking. <laughs> Hello, Ros in Warwickshire, Hannah in Kent, Michelle in West Yorkshire. I want to live in a shire. Veronica's having two, David's having two, Anelia's having four, Lois is having three, Ros is having two as well. Well done, Ros or Ross. Is Ros or Ros? It's Ros, isn't it? R O S. Yeah. Ros, because R O double S would it's be Ros, Ross, wouldn't yeah. it? Sorry, Ros. We've had a Ros and a Ross here. Mm. Boy and a girl. We've still got Ross, but we had a Ros. She's gone. She ruthlessly left us. She left us, didn't she? Our lovely Roz. It's her birthday the other day, wasn't it? Mm. Well done, everybody on those. Great, great deal. Cracking, cracking deal there, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Ocean Jasper. The Ocean. They are Ocean Jasper, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Six mil, beautiful Ocean Jasper. And again, if you don't mind me showing you, look. 
They're only going to go perfectly with the Labradorite again, aren't they? Labradorite, such a great um, addition to so many colourful gemstones. Yeah, well, again, like you said earlier on, with it being like a, a neutral sort of colour, it is going to... Could you get a pair, bigger <laughs> pair of shoes to cut your thread with? <laughs> Could you? <laughs> Edward Scissorhands over there. She only cut a piece of fire line. Look at her. <laughs> oh dear we've got the giggles tonight we have i'm so sorry right now we're going to do another lowest ever late show price the lump we're going to change it the little little sp lp lowest price for some reason mark smith decided to call it a vpl and i said what, what, what? <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, visible panty line. I said, well, that, what's that got to do with the lowest? He said, I just thought it sounded funny. I said, well, it's got nothing to... <laughs> what? <laughs> Very strange. Uh, on the late show, Friday, we actually have Mr Smith. Oh, yeah. Got Smith on the... Do you know what he's doing on Friday? He's doing a workshop. Beer at seven in the morning. Then he's doing a, a, the show with me, late show till ten. Then he's doing a DVD. Oh, my word. I know. I said, you got no home to go to. Have you really? Seven... 95 on those. 6 mil rounds. I love the ocean, Jasper. I really, really do. Do you know, I don't know what I'd do if somebody challenged me and said, you've got to choose ocean, Jasper or Botswana or Agate. I actually don't know what I'd do. I, think I, yeah, I don't think that's... I could make a choice. No. I really don't. I really don't. So, 6 mil... Is that our lowest ever price? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Never, ever, 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 ever has it gone to 7 95 And they are totes natural. They are absolutely au naturel. Gosh, that was a long decision there, Becky, then. You know. Now, I just noticed how partial you were to the blue lace agate. So how about we give you a beautiful... ..lovely rondelles. And that's what I always like to, to, to mention. We, we sort of take that graduation for granted, but just what a, look what a lovely... You know, when you, when you look for a, a beautiful drape on a sterling silver chain day with a decent weight to it. Mm. You want it to drape in a beautiful curve. That's exactly what we're doing here with the gemstone. And we just, I think we take that for granted a little bit, but there's so much work that goes into creating that gentle arc as opposed to a step. Do you know what I mean, Katie? Yes, yeah, well, it, it's, it's very subtle, isn't it? But, mm. you know, it, it's not, not literally like a, no. like a big sort of angle. Exactly. At, you know, and that's but, real yeah. talent. <clears throat> that is real talent to do that, to just have that lovely, gentle curve all the way around. It's incredible. These are South African again. So we are currently in Africa. Or the likes of Madagascar. There we are on the plane. Why am I doing that on the plane? Would you, I don't do that when I go on a plane. <laughs> do you? Why do we do that on a plane? <laughs> <laughs> Who's she laughing at back there? Me? Oh. Anyway, eleven ninety five for blue. I think yeah, Marie's face on there is hilarious. Has anybody here been to Africa? Yeah. Yeah, Amelia has. I have. Been to Egypt. No, so you haven't been to Africa then, have you? Egypt. You haven't been to South Africa. No. I've been once. It's very nice. Very nice actually. Um, right then. Oh my goodness me, we are already the first hour has gone. Oh bless you. Oh, she's got hiccups. Oh. I love hiccups. They're the funniest thing, aren't they? Uh, anyway, so we'll have to go and give her a surprise in a minute so that we... Oh, oh my God, that she will stop. All uh, right, then. I've given you a little sneaky peek. They are a star by with a twist.
we are one hour away from those zircon. Mm -hmm. One hour away from those zircon. Very excited about those. Okay, we have got these. Now, I'm trying to show you these facets because it kind of goes at a diagonal across the gemstone. See if I can get it across to you, look. Look, look, look. Look at that, now look at that facet in there, Katie. Great big oh, massive wow, yeah. sort of stripes of facet look. That clever. That's amazing. I love it because it just sort of gives a different perspective on the stone. Yeah. And great big stepping stones of Labradorite, aren't they? <laughs> I'm sorry everybody, but that's so funny. I'm trying to show you these and all I can hear at the minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now then, look at that. That is the most lovely green. Isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Look at that. All that's the way across. Amazing. I think that's really exaggerated by those big long mm. facets, don't you? Oh my word. They are lovely. Oh, oh, I've got purple. I've got purple. Can I show you? See if it works in the studio, look. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, is that coming through the purple properly? It isn't very well. That's really purple, that one. Oh, my word. And those are just divine, aren't they, look? Oh, look at that. Oh, See the side. God. Wow. Oh, these are good. Do you know, I've seen the price as well. If you've seen these and you're thinking... You're thinking, can I get those? Because they're so cool. That's the most unusual facet of the I've seen today. Oh, wow, nice. Lovely. Okay, under. Just get you kick started for the next hour. Aren't we, Becky, love? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to shock it. We're going to try and shock her and get her out of the hiccups. There you go. Just to tease you into the next hour of showcase, other than the kit, everything going under 10. Oh, yeah. So amazing, twisted, elongated, long, sharp facets across the surface of those Labradorites. Nine ninety. Why have we caught Roz out? What's she doing? What's she doing? Thanks, Zena. You've just got me caught <laughs> on the app. And <gasps> Neil heard. Oops. Oh. Oh no. Have I just dropped you in it, Roz? Am I in trouble? Beverly says, Zena, what, what time is the zircon on, please? Oh, eight o'clock, Bev. Eight o'clock. Can we put it on? Are we allowed to, um... <whistles> Shall we? Shall we for Bev? Would you like... I'll tell you what, let's ask Bev. Beverly, would you like us to put it on pre-order after the break? We don't usually on today's must have, do we? Do you, what would you like us to? So you can get it early? Let us know. Text in. I was going to tell you how to do it, but you've just done it. Text in. Um, if you don't know how to do it, you text on your, on your phone or whatever, 60777. Then you start your text with, instead of D, you just put JM Studio. And then give us your message. You can live message through the jewelrymaker.com or the jewelrymaker app as well. Tap the app. Oh, I know Bev knows how to. I'm just telling <laughs> Honestly, Bev. Let me know, darling. Or anybody else, if you want the Zircon. Do you want to see the Zircon again? Do you? Oh, my word. It is only just about, like, the best. And it is the colours of Zircon that everybody's going absolutely bonkers for at the minute. These sherry champagne tones, they are good. It's like the Prosecco of Zircon, isn't it? Stunning, stunning, stunning. 9.95 on the Labradorite, obviously, not on the Zircon. But the Zircon are coming up for you in an hour. Or you could get them early if you want us to. So that's up to you. It's not just Beverly's decision, it's anybody that wants those Zircon on pre-order, let me know. Okay? Please. Right then. Okay, after the break, I have got a really naughty deal on some pearls. I've got some really unusual Murano glass, don't you know? And then I'm going to mosey on over to the lovely Katie Reed, and we've got a... <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry, all I can hear is... <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we've got a fantastic kit and uh, we're going to ask you to do a demo 
A demo. Yes. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, yes, fine. demo with Katie Reeves here after the break. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to tell you about Wednesday, which is going to be a really interesting day. We've got Feldspar family showcases. So the Feldspar family is a really huge family of gemstones, and it includes everything from Amazonite, Labradorite, Moonstone, Andesine, a little bit of everything. And we've got all sorts of treats for you throughout the day. So tune in on Wednesday for Feldspar family showcases on Jewelry Maker. I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again, I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun, a lot of cake, any excuse for cake and amazing bargains. I've selected some extraordinary items and PR offers, there will be many. So I look forward to seeing you next Thursday for my birthday show. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, color, and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gem show. I'm going for a better link in this one. Hello, how are we? Are we good? Thank you for still watching. <laughs> I've just apologised to all my crew and said I apologise for the worst start to the late show. But Evan, I'd like to apologise to you as well. Sorry. Oh, this lovely lady always brings in treats for everybody. Don't you? Um, right then, um, we've got Katie Reid. Now, Katie Reid has made some um, seed bead jewellery. You've had a nice time with the seed beads. Yeah. Thank you. Um, are seed, what is it about seed beads? Do you find that when you start working with seed beads that it becomes addictive? It, it kind of sends you into like a zen sort of like it? feeling, you know, because a lot of the patterns is repetitive. It's very similar to me. 
like um, chain mail and things like that because yeah. you're kind of doing the same thing over again. It you kind get of lost just, in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we were talking yesterday on the show saying actually we think that you know this this whole conversation about um, getting outside and walking and doctors being able to prescribe you know activities and walking mm. and yoga and things like that and meditation and mindfulness as opposed to antidepressants and all that kind yeah. of thing. Whilst obviously we don't want to get into that realms, but. I was saying yesterday that actually jewellery making it takes you off into a whole nother, oh, yeah. whole nother world. It's relaxing most of the time. Let's face it, can drive us crazy at times as well. But actually, it's such a good, healthy hobby to have or business yeah. to have if it progresses into that. It really is. And seed bees is just wonderful. See the hidden key there? Yeah. I like I'm the hidden gonna... key. Oh, it's not too far away. Ah. It's back to front. I'll, fl I'll flip it over in a second. Come on, you flip it over, that's fine. Can you reach? It doesn't help. <gasps> Joke. <laughs> Doug, it was you that pushed Lit Ruth Lynette off her chair. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it was. Hey, hey. Is that okay now? There you go. Yeah. Slightly less hidden now. There you go. Beautiful key. Gorgeous. So. Asian, now we think that the kits got flipped round. Yeah. Because they were off to Asia today and we were off to Africa and they had Africa mm. and we had Asia. Asia so we think yeah. they've been swapped round, but there you go. It doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? So, we promised you seed beads. Seed beads. Seed beads. And we have said seed beads. Lovely complimentary. I get that with the Asian chic. That's great colours, actually. Really lovely. So we've got silver lined um, ruby seed beads 11.0. We've got dark bronze in 11.0 and we've got opaque black in 8 or So those two in 11.0. And the idea, in case you're, you're new to jewellery making and you're wondering what the 11.0 and the 8.0 and how you work out what is what. So if you lie the beads face up in a row, 8 in the 8.0s would measure an inch and in the 11.0s, 11 would, would measure an inch. So the idea being the higher the number, the smaller the seed bead. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sort of described in layman's terms, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Now then, we're also going to give you a beautiful smoke uh, colour. Now we do them in uh, fire line and wildfire in all different colours, greens and blues and reds and whites and blacks and smokes, but that smoky tone will work well with the dark bronze, the red and the black, we thought, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. It, 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 it sort of disappears into your yeah. design, which is really Magic. what you want. Yeah. Six pound break weight as well, so you could string six pounds worth of jewellery on there before we, it would even think about snapping. And uh, we're also going to give you a strand of gemstones. Rather lovely strand of gemstones. Black spinel. Ooh. Stunning. They are stunning, aren't they? Certainly are. 150 carats as well in those. They graduate from an 8 by 7 to a 12 by 10 mil. Absolutely natural. Tell you what, that is a that could either be quite vampish. Yes. Quite sexy mm. evening glam wear. I'm thinking, yeah. I love that necklace, Katie. I tell you now, I would absolutely love that. I love the way you've done the crosses out of the seed beads. Yeah. I really like that. That's very clever, you. you, aren't you? Thank you. Mm. So, what price do you think we can take the kit down to? <laughs> there you go. Lovely cross series. I'm, are you going to teach us how to do that? I, oh, am, I am yeah. so glad you said that because I'd love to learn <laughs> how to do that. They are so cool. Okay, three lots of seed beads, two in the 11 one in the 8 o's, fire line smoke grey um, and your black spinel under £30 with your saving today. Now, the way those discounts work, again, in case you're just new to us here, is we give you a saving during the live show and if it's, it's repeated overnight until 8 o'clock in the morning and then... Depending on if there's any left by 8 o'clock, all the prices revert back up then. So if you want the discounted price, you've got to get it before, before the stock runs out or before 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, the only hour that that doesn't work on is the breakfast club hour from 8 till 9 because we only have those on for 60 minutes. Okay, that's the only exception to the rule. So if you, uh, if you fancy that... It's not good at the seed beans. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with this. I, w I wanted to make something else, and this is what we call a happy mistake. Oh, a happy accident. Yeah. So I was going to do a poppy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And what I did was I've done a peyote stitch. Yeah. 
just a flat stitch. Yeah. So if I just show just this one here, yeah. this is what you would end up with on a peyote stitch. Mm hmm Yeah. Just like so. So this to me is, in my head, a piece of ribbon. Yeah. So then you would do your running stitch along the bottom and then this just literally through the seed beads as to though you would in. A, a piece of ribbon. And then I was going to put the spinel in the centre. Okay. But it just wasn't working for me. So I put it down and I was like, right, that's it. And then I got up uh, early one morning because I couldn't sleep. You know what it's like sometimes you just can't sleep. And I was just looking at it and I was like, just sat like that. You don't want to waste seed beads no, when you do that much work. It took me a long time to, okay. to make that. And I was like, what am I going to do with it? And my mum used to have a brooch, I don't know if she's still got it actually, and it's a silver fan. Okay. And it had a couple of tassels, like, lovely. Down, and then I sort of like saw that and I was like, oh, right. Ah. And so that's where this sort of design came through. And that and looks then, really lovely. So that was a happy accident. Good. Well, I'm glad you had it. <laughs> uh, so the kit is 27.95. The code to check out that lovely kit is JLXC38. Um, beautiful. I, every, ah. Hang on, just quickly, did we have a decision on the Zircon? So, because we did ask the question and I think we... So, well... Right, yes, okay then, I'll tell you what, just quickly before we move on then, just before we move across to Katie, the Zircon apparently you're all saying yes, yes, yeah, I thought you might. Yeah. But I just wanted to check. So, unusually, for the, de uh, for the today's must-have, we just need to take the graphics out of the kit for one moment while we load the Zircon as a pre-order for you. All right, an extraordinarily high-end Zircon strand for you, as our today's must-have in 50 minutes. But the good news is we'll put it on pre-order. Now, the code for you to pre-order, my lovelies, am I allowed to give it out? Just a moment. Okay, it is M for mother, M-O-J-N for Nelly, 4-7. I don't know the uh, proper alphabet, obviously. I'm sure it's not N for Nelly, is it? Juliet. Love. Oh, no, that's the, that's the other one. one. Yeah. Hang on, then, no. let's see if, if she can do it. Right, so, you read that one out with the proper one. Michael, Oscar, Mike, Oscar, Juliet, Nelly, November. Yay! 47. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you know what else we've got on the show tonight? Got the digital scales that we use in the studio. Oh, oh. Mm, I got you excited, didn't And they're so uh, affordable. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. Got the digital yeah. scales on their own on the show tonight. Woohoo! Okay, there you go. The Zircon Beverly, Beverly, Beverly. Zircon's on pre order. Okay, my lovely. I'm going to. Okay. All right, okay then. Right then. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do the cross. So, what I've done is. I have got two of our um I'll move size... so I don't come on. That's all right. Come on. There come on. Our size ten uh, needles that we do. And I've literally just popped one on each end of our of our thread there. So you're probably thinking, why are you doing that? Well you I know, am actually so to be honest. This is you know how we're always going on about beady beads and things beady like beads. that. So this is how you would start off a beady bead. Okay. So we're gonna pick up let me just move these into here and then I'm not going out of <laughs> out of shot. Right, so we're going to pick up three of our seed beads, like so, and let those seed beads fall to the centre. Then we're going to pick up another one, yeah. and then with that, you're just going to pop it through one needle and then get the other needle and go through the opposite needle, like so. So I just have these, so it just makes it a lot easier to... Uh, thread up. So now we're left with a little cross. So then we're going to pick up a seed bead on the right and a seed bead, on, a the seed bead on the left. She says. There we go. And then let those two travel down to the, the end there and then we're going to pick up another one and do the exact same thing. So this is how you would do your beady Indeed. bead. And you would do this with 12 beads, so then it's just literally going to create a nice kind of length, Lovely. like so. So we'll just do that one more time and then we'll move on to our next stage. So it's nice, nice and simple, but this is like you could add in beads in between this. So if you had the 15 O's, which are, are rather small, you could mm -hmm. probably put these in between as well just to 
kind of give it that little bit more of a decorative look if you wanted to. This is just the basics okay. for you to create your cross. Now, as you can see now, we've, we've got to the lower portion of our cross. Now, I would do another one up there, so then we've got literally four squares. So then we've got something that looks a little bit... Ooh, let's lay this one out of the way. So just ignore that side for now. So now we've got sort of one, two, three, four yeah. kind of okay. squares, sections. So now what we're going to do is just move this thread out of the way. We're just going to ignore this side for now. And then we'll just grab a couple more beads, like so. And then what we're going to do is, what you do is you're going to come, instead of up the top here, you're going to pop your needle and thread to the side like so and then we're going to pick up three beads so it's a little bit different now so we're just yeah. going to pick up three beads on this side but we still want to create that that square so there we go we've got our three like so and then where we've just popped our thread through there we're just going to come straight back through there and bring that round and then that brings that side round to there mm -hmm. but as you can see we're our thread's coming out this side so we want to pop through the seed bead next door. There we go. And then we're now at the top here. So then we're going to pick up another three. So we're just going to do that twice on either side, like so. And then bring that round to there. There we go. And then we're just going to literally pop our thread all the way back through yeah and then when you're doing this it's just going to strengthen up your work as well so then yeah your cross keeps its its integrity so to speak so it's yeah there we go and then bring that back round to this side now you can ignore this piece of thread just on this side so now bring that back up to there and then we're going to go to where we finished off right at the beginning before we started doing the sides of our cross. Okay. So now we're left with something that looks a little bit like that. So now we want to work on the top section. So again, we're just going to grab three. One, two, three. As I say, it's nice and simple, but you can then add in all of your little embellishments if you like to. And then bring that back round. And then you're going to pop back round. So let's just imagine that I've gone round to there and we pop back up to the top seed bead there and then one two three pop that round there and that is <laughs> and that's your cross nice and simple that's beautiful and as I say then you'll have more time just to pop through all of your seed beads like so. So just bring that back down to there. And there is, in fact, if I pop that through the bottom one there, it's going to sit better. Mm -hmm. Like so. And that is your cross. And then you've just attached a gemstone at the bottom, haven't you? Yes, yep. Yeah. Of the earring, yeah. And yeah. just literally just sewed that back through. So just going around several times through the, the drill hole of the earrings mm. there. Really beautiful. And then just literally just threaded that onto the beading thread on the necklace as and well. I'll tell you, the seed bead goes. That's a pretty quick design. Yeah. Isn't it? And again, it's something you can build up on, you know, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, but like I say, that, the, the, the fan one was a, a... Happy accident. Yes, it was. That's beautiful. Really lovely. Isn't it nice to see a cross as well? Really lovely. Uh, so there are some of the kit left if you would still like to get them. Uh, JLXC38. Massive thank you to our lovely Katie for a lovely demo. Thank you. I'm glad it was good, otherwise we could have been a bit cross with you. <laughs> oh. Hey. I don't get it. Oh. oh. <laughs> now we've had some... Um, uh, you like giving my producer a bit of a hard time. <laughs> I think somebody's messaged in and she said, that Zircon better be a good price. And they put, oh, <laughs> that's all me. Um, yeah, no, we've got a lot of 
a lot, it is going to be fantastic. It is very, very, it's one of our pinnacle strands of Zircon. It is very special indeed. So if you, in fact, I'll show it again, shall I? In fact, should we show you the recording? Can we show the recording again, Adam? Because I'll tell you what, oh my word. Some really beautiful tones of colour on there. And um, just, look. I'll tell you what. Now, I don't know if a lot of you do know that Steve Bennett, my cousin, actually um, started Jewelry Maker and um, uh, also owns Gemporia. Uh, where, but did you know that actually his uh, son in law, Jake, who now is one of the um, main gemstone buyers for Gemporia, when he proposed to Steve Bennett's old, eldest daughter, the lovely Hannah, he proposed with a sherry toned uh, beautiful zircon. Oh, wow. Mm. So if he's got access to all the gemstones on the planet, that's actually what he chose. Because I tell you, that must have been nerve-wracking, mustn't it? Proposing with jewellery to the owner of one of the biggest gemstone, you know, yeah. jewellery companies online. That must be <laughs> difficult, mustn't it, what you choose. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, so uh, that, those are the colours. So that's coming up for you. It's on pre-order. The code is M-O-J-N for November 47. OK, good luck, good luck, good luck. Right then, we're now going to give you 40 minutes of under £10. Everything you see, apart from me and her. Oh, I might be negotiating. We could be nego <laughs> we could negotiate, couldn't we? Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> Do you think, oh, do you know what the team just said? They said, well, I don't think we could get Kate into 10, but then again, we might be able to get both of you as a little uh, double giveaway. Charming. Charming. <laughs> right then, double trouble, double trouble, double trouble, double trouble. Ooh. Oh, oh, I, honestly, these, these, these for your dress. Yeah, these with your dress on this evening, Missy, uh, would be perfect. She's got the busiest dress on under that cardigan. <laughs> she has. You can see a hint of it. Very, very busy indeed. In fact, it needs these. In fact, it absolutely needs it does. these. Doesn't it? These are gorgeous multicolour mixed jasper in these four mil rounds. I'll get you to hold them up on your top in a minute because it just look. In fact, can we do that? Just hold one of them up against your lovely outfit. It's going up perfect. Look. Look at, look at that with Katie's dress. Hey? Look at that. Yeah. That's about perfect, lovely. Oh, wow. When is your birthday? Uh, it's at the end of June. It's 30th of June. Oh, we've got a while yet then, yeah. so we're all right. Yeah. We'll all chip in for these for you. You're worth a tenner. <laughs> She's worth a tenner, isn't she? So, actually, <laughs> there you go, everybody. It's all for 50p. <laughs> £6.95. That means... I'll tell you what, we could actually give her a strand. Oh, I'll have a strand. £3.48, £3.47, yeah. we're yeah. done. Aren't we? They are lovely, aren't they? Such fun. Such oh, fun. I love it when you... Such fun. <laughs> oh, you posh <laughs> You did you said it was a posh you said, oh, such fun. <laughs> they are, though, aren't they? You're such fun. That's what you are. You're so much fun, you are. You're absolutely gorgeous. So, um, we do... Everybody's asking about the professional mini digital scales. They are coming up on the show. I promise, I promise, I promise. OK? Beautiful. Super... Is that one of the naughtiest prices we've ever, 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 ever gone to? Yeah, I should think so, dingity dong. Double trouble. Four mil, multicolour, beautiful. And they are, sometimes we say multicolour and it's on like the three-tone the three -tone pearls or yes, multicolour yeah. and it's different shades of jade or aquamarine. Yeah. Now that is, I think multicolour should be reserved for multicolour tourmaline and multicolour jasper and agates. Yeah. Because they're the most colourful gems, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, even like the greens, a lot, in a lot of, in a lot, I'll start again, in a lot of the shops, yes. there's um, a lot of neon. There is. Oh, I've seen and, that. And that, you know, there's... Yeah, proper neon green. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear my interesting fact about tennis balls, why they're yellow? I thought this was a really interesting fact. Go on. It was down to David Attenborough. Really? Yeah, because apparently when David Attenborough was, like, in, at the BBC and stuff... Oh, it, the, when it turned black and white to colour, he said that they wouldn't see white tennis balls. So oh, they went to yellow. Right. So oh. did be, and it's down to David Attenborough. Yellow tennis balls. Yellow tennis balls. I thought that was quite interesting. Do you know what? as well how many bones there are in the foot how many do you reckon in the foot oh it's insane there's quite a lot isn't there 126 bones in your foot i need to tell that because apparently my brother's broken his toe i'm just quite just made me think of yeah. <laughs> pardon i don't know how many bones are in there. right hang on this is what we use in the studio this i don't know where it is but we do that's what we use these are br these are brilliant she says 
Hang on. Do you know the lid's not normally on? Flips up, doesn't it? Flips up yeah. the lid. Yeah, I thought it flipped up. Oh no, it doesn't. No, that is the that is the um Have we got the lid off it then? Because there's a lid on it normally. There's normally a lid on it. There is, because we've got one in the studio. There's normally a lid on it. There you go. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to oh. take the lid off one that hadn't got the lid on it. There you go. Sorry. It does look. There you go. Yeah. It does. Yeah. So it is, it is, yeah, it is there. So that's the one with the, the, it, that's the case lid. And then this is what it looks like when you've taken the lid off, which is what I was trying to do, and I hadn't paid attention. And they are digital scales. Now, what we do, if I take the one here just to show you. So, so you do what you normally do with scales, press the on button and you wait it for it to, to reset to zero. Okay? So those... They said 126 today. I thought it was a lot. <laughs> they said on the radio today there was 126 <laughs> bones in your foot. Were they winding me up? Was it April Fool's? That was yesterday. I thought it was a lot. I believed him as well. <laughs> and I've just shared that with you and now I've been corrected. Sorry. Well, I'm not having a good day, am I? I need to just not, I just need to not get involved. So what we've got here is, what I've always great about this is you get this lovely bright LCD display. Okay, it's really easy to use, really simple operation. Pocket size as well, I think that's key to mention. That, it's absolutely pocket size. Um, you get a low battery warning when the battery's running out as well. So it's, um, it, oh, the other thing as well, sometimes we leave this off in the studio, it has got the energy energy saving auto switch off. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes we leave things on, don't we? Irons have got that, haven't they? And straighteners and things like that. If you've forgotten, you leave it off. It does have an auto, but I did switch off, if you can remember, because it saves the battery, but it'll tell, tell you when the battery's getting low. You've got an auto shut off um, uh, system on there as well, so it will actually switch off. Um, and it is one of the most beautiful compact scales that are available in the market. You need two AAA batteries, to work it that's all and um, it's just gorgeous gorgeous so when you see us wait what we do is I'm gonna have to put it down but let it set to naught settle back to naught hang on a second let's turn it off if we put it on there you go so if I put it there we've got anything we could pop on what we got what? right how about we pop oh you've done it Sorry, that's all right. So, yeah, so there you go. If you want to know the gram weight of what you've got, obviously what you'd need to do... Ah, but you didn't weigh the pot oh, first, I didn't weigh the did pot you? First. <laughs> so, so reset it to naught. Oh, hello. So, 0.84. The cross. Interesting, though. Somebody wants to know how much an earring yeah. or a necklace weighs, or you want to know how many grams are in our sterling silver wire. Absolutely. So, it, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That's and really that's what good, surprises yeah. me, that they're only £6.95. Yeah, it does actually. Gram weight, this one, they do all sorts of different ones. It goes up to 200 grams. 200 grams it goes up to. Okay, 200. What? If we just put the Antarctic wind on? <laughs> Seriously, it's just gone freezing cold in here. Amelia? <laughs> Seriously, can we have that? If that had, there's a seriously cold, cold wind coming in yeah. here now, isn't there? Is it her putting it on for herself? <laughs> Honest. Mind you, we are a team. We are a team, but... Are you having menopause? Oh, gosh, we're all menopause. <laughs> it's like it's shocking. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. So, yeah, it comes in the gift box as well. It's brilliant. It really is. We do Hello, Michael, my lovely. Well done, my darling. Well done to Terry and the White, Ros, Margaret, Diane, Tina, Charlotte, Phyllis, Jones, Suzanne. Do you know, I'm annoying myself. I'm annoying myself this evening. Sound like a right moaner. It's too hot. It's too cold. It's too hot. It's too... I've got the right chair. Where's my tweezers? <laughs> God, woman, behave. <laughs> so there's all the features. Look, can we zoom in on that so you can see? Just because it'll explain to you all the things it does as well. Look, can you see? I don't know why they've done it in green and yellow, but there you go, look. So there you go, look. Tells you all the things you need there, look. Really easy to read, LCD. Um, low battery. Oh, it's got it all on there, look. There you go. So that's good. I like, that. I like it when things come in a box as yeah. well, because it keeps it clean. I like to keep things in their original box, I do. I do with my Christmas decorations. Mm. I like, where possible, I like to keep it in the box, you know. 
Anyway, yeah, six ninety-five. I wouldn't mind some of them myself, actually. Could you pop that um, code down for me, but please? I'm quite fancy. Mind you, is it me? Is it me, or is that a very 1970s box? <laughs> Can I just show you? I mean, they've gone right back to the old uh, brand in there, haven't they? Look. look at, I mean, it's not from the... But look, it's proper 1970s, isn't it? Diamond series. Diamond series. A zero zero four. Four. It's new. Pocket scale. I feel like I'm going back to the generation game with Brucey and everybody back in the original. <laughs> yeah. That is funny, though. Anyway. Oh, thank you, darling. Right then, my lovelies. It's that time again, because we're racing through the show this evening. It is a... You can do it. Star boy! That was going to happen, didn't we? It was a bit of a satellite delay. It's like, uh. um, okay. You see me walking towards you, right? I know you probably. <laughs> <laughs> what did my director just say in our ear? He just said, "Run." <laughs> well, I bought him cake in tonight. Is that, a, is that a cake for me tonight? And he's just said, "If you see me walking towards you, run." <laughs> Fair comment. But, honestly, forget, if we didn't buy from Jewellery Maker, right, we saw somebody walking towards us with that beautiful pearl necklace on, you would never in your widest in, in, imagination ever mention this, because me and you said, if you see that necklace on, that girl over there. Yeah. You know, and then you go, how much you think she... Because we all do it. Well, of course we, we do. We all do it. Yeah. But, you know, those say we don't, we do. You'd never guess this price point. You really, 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 really wouldn't. I mean, I've been shopping today uh, in Marks and Spencer's Food Shopping Hall, uh, well, uh, along with other department stores. And I tell you what, when you see the prices, I mean, beautiful food, absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, they can be quite pricey. Yeah. And I've seen a pie on the shelf in there today for more than these pearls. A pie. Oh, my word. I like a pie. I yeah. do like a good pie. White freshwater cultured Baroque side drill pearls, which look fantastic. Please, can we, I know we normally just wait, but this is such a good price. Could you whop it in? Please, my darling. I really, you know, look at that. It was a big family pie, and I'm sure it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, that's the kind of price you pay for a few, pay for a few slices of smoked salmon, isn't it? Your pie. Your pie. Your pie, even, darling. The smoked salmon. Yeah, isn't they're it? beautiful. They're yeah. stunning. Box of chocolates, five ninety five. A cake, five ninety five. Posh fish cakes with a melting middle, five. You could pay more than that, couldn't you? These are genuine pearls, and I'll tell you what, I did actually see a lady in said shop today in her pearls. Mm -hmm. She did. She had a beauty, and she looked beautiful, actually. Yeah, I always think they were just yeah. a nice little full yeah. stop to an outfit. Pearls. And we were, were, we were, 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 were in mere green. That's posh. That's where Marion's from. All right. Marion that messages in, she lives in me. Well, four oaks, she calls it. Four oaks, me, it greens. Yes, yeah, posh. It is posh, isn't it, Leah? You've been there, haven't you? It's very posh. Did you have a nice minute piece of my colour bit, by the way, the other night? I did. Did you? I took my mum there. You took your mum there. Did you like, did she like it? Did you have the garlic bread? I did. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's right. It's my, one of my favourite restaurants, pizza by garlic. It's lovely. It's not just pizza, it's fabulous pasta. On the garlic bread. Oh! Best garlic bread ever. Ever. You stink for three days, but oh, <laughs> so good. Garlic, bread. Anyway, five ninety-five. It is a shocker, is it? I mean, you, joking aside, you do kind of pay that sort of price for a starter or a pudding in a restaurant, don't you? Yeah, well, I went to a southern fried place today and that was what I paid for my there you go. lunch. And I bet that won't last you a lifetime, will it? No. Yeah, these will. These are your beautiful books. Now, would you agree that when I put that at the base of the neckline, that's a nice size for that, just mm. to sort of... Frame the... Yeah, it's kind of like collar length, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like that. I think that looks really pretty. £5.95. pence. Just quickly, do you know what? You could have coming out, darting out from those. Hang on. This strand is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's beautiful. Uh, and I tell you what, that is one incredible, incredible strand of zircon in the most sought-after colours right now. Beautiful. 
Uh, it is on pre-order. Code is MOJN47 on those incredible Zircons, but we will be bringing them live to you as our today's must-have in 25 minutes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Say so the, so the, the thing again because I didn't... Um... 16. Oh, th oh, thank you. I wish you're listening, Katie, look. Uh, now, do you know we had a similar strand on one of the shows the other day, and these sold out in seconds. In seconds. This must be another strand because they all went... It's such a cute colour. Oh, wow, that's lovely. It's champagne beautiful, isn't it? Definitely champagne. Yeah. Yeah, um, do you like champagne, carver or prosecco? What's your favourite? Um, I'm not... You're not, not keen on any of them? Not really fast. Are you not fussed? No, I'm as long as it's got a percentage, I'm all right. Oh, oh OK. <laughs> Pure class, you, Katie. Pure class. <laughs> um, fresh, I'm going to go champagne. I think out the three. Yeah. You like Prosecco. Right. Most people are going for Prosecco. Although right. sales have dropped off, haven't they, on Prosecco? Actually, I do like a carver with a little splash of um, peach snaps. Nice. Well. Oh, a Bellini. Mm. Oh, lovely. So, much of Bellini's with champagne, isn't it? I believe. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, uh, freshwater cultured and I love it is a beautiful because um, it's a lovely buttery tone to champagne. Isn't yeah, it? really buttery. It's beautiful. Uh, these are five by four mil, so these are going to be some of the most versatile pearls you work with, size wise. Absolutely, they Absolutely. would work in any style of pearl jewelry, wouldn't they? They certainly would. Any sort of pearl jewelry. Again, you could incorporate these into the kit as well if you wanted that sort of like Ooh, yeah. Asian sort of look to go there. You know, if you've got wedding jewelry to make for. Um, any sort of weddings mm. or anything like that, yep. this is perfect. It would, wouldn't it? That is just beautiful. I mean, are you going to a wedding this year? I've been to one. You've been to one already? Yeah. Already? Yeah. My Where? cousin, oh. he got married in York. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, when you went up to yeah, York. Yeah, when we went up to York. In oh. fact, I've got the... These are all on the table, just a quick side note, if I can bring that mm. here. He's a, a blacksmith. <gasps> oh, wow. So he made... Oh, all can these we, oh, how hearts. lovely. Can you see that on the... She's got it on, on her the, pass. Oh, they're beautiful. The and he made them for all the guests. Oh, so. isn't that lovely? Yeah. Oh, how so, lovely. Just a little. Yes, yeah, so I've oh, been to wow. a wedding this year already. Right. So. I was going to a wedding. But now we're not. Nothing to do with me. Just saying, nothing to do with me. In case everybody's thinking, I'll bet that was you. No, nothing to do with me. Surprisingly. <laughs> oh, now these would go nice together, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. Yep. Oh, they would go lovely together. I mean, I was just going to say, picture Jasper. Oh, gosh, mm. it's one of my faves. One of my favourites. But actually mixed with the champagne pearls, oh yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of like utility sort of style fashion with the khaki greens and, and sort of like your taupe sort of colours. Utility, you know, like your uh, cargo pants and your camouflage oh, and stuff sorry, like I that. I think that's so... electricity and water when you say a utility. <laughs> sorry, I was thinking, what, <laughs> yeah. eh? And this would go really well with that sort of look, you, you know, you, utility. Is the wrong yeah. word you're thinking, Ut yeah. is it? Yeah, utility wear, well, it's like... Is it? Yeah. Why is your gas and electric in your water called your utility bill then? Because it's a utility. But utility wear, it's, it's based on like your, your boiler suits and stuff like that. So it's kind of like that, you know. So, yeah, it's, there's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, I love you because you and Nam's got a shot me. I, I think I'm in my own will sometimes, but you just push me to a whole other stratosphere, you do. Picture Jasper tubes, I think they go delightfully with the champagne pearls, as I think we've all just agreed. And those, because it's um, tubes day, or cubes day, do you like what I did there? <laughs> tubes day, we're taking it down to less than a fiver. <laughs> so I think that's, I think they look, do you think um, unisex? Absolutely Yeah, unisex, I think so yeah. as well. This would make a great sort of ladder style bracelet for the guys, like macrame ladder style bracelet, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I like them. It's good dude. Surfer dude. Why do you all say surfer dude? Why is a surfer always a dude? Or a dude always a surfer? Surfer dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, 
I've got three of these. I've got three of these. I've got Gem Hawks to buy them for me. And I've got these when we did them in the chunky uh, nuggets as well. Oh. Mm hmm Because I... Who'd have thought, honestly, that the caramel original, the golden caramel, the red and the blue would ever look right together yeah side by side it's, yeah it, you're right there it's i think because you've got like the tiger's eye in there mm. then that's it just works doesn't it yeah, it's like all it different colors of wood all work together don't mm -hmm. they yeah you know but oh my goodness me they are just so lovely beautiful in fact could i show you those on could i would you mind here we go see now that's lovely look because that that brings out the goals of my top and the sort of reddy orange tone yeah. as well doesn't it and then just a splash of blue for good mm, measure very nice mm, very nice blue 100 carats of multicolored tiger's eye what's it multicolor we should say tricolor i've had this conversation before because there's three colors on there really aren't there when you think you know tiger's eye now i'll tell you what if you search for tiger's eye I have said this before, but if you search for tiger's eye, you know, when you go in the shopping, there's the tabs at the top. You know, yeah. 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 Shopping. Comes back, loads of men's bracelets. Loads of men's bracelets. More than any other gemstone, isn't it? Men, 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 men. And yoga bracelets. Yoga bracelets? Yoga bracelets. Do you go to yoga? No. 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 No, I don't go to yoga. I go to Pilates. Love Pilates. My physiotherapist said I should do Pilates. But seriously, talk to me about Pilates later. Honestly, it's the okay. best, best, best thing to get. Honestly, it's so, especially as you get older. You need to work on your core and your balance because your balance starts to go as you get older, doesn't it? Hmm. You know. So, yeah, but we're not getting any younger, Adam. Because of you, and we're younger. Yeah, but we're getting older. What if you're Benjamin Button? We're not talking about Benjamin Button. That was a weird film, wasn't it? It was a weird film. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, but no, seriously, Pilates for your core. Keep telling me, Dad, get him set. My, my, my stepdad goes, he's 75, 76 next month. He, honestly, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. Can't recommend it enough. Talk to me about Pilates later. Debbie! Zena, that Zircon matches your top beautifully. Debbie, thank you, darling. Is that your, is that your suggestion that I should go home with it, Debbie? <laughs> oh, Jill just said, no, I think the question mark is a smiley face. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think any. She said, just switched on to two of my favourite people, question mark. But I, I think it, I think it's a smiley face gone wrong. All right, okay. So that's what I'm going to believe yeah. anyway. <laughs> Love your top, Zena. Oh, thanks. A very good match to that stunning Zircon. Everybody thinks I should take the Zircon yeah, home. Yeah, I think so. Shall I show it again? I oh, think yeah. you're all right, girls. I do, Debbie and Jill. I, I could selflessly take this home. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I could say, well, the customer said I needed to. Yeah. And I've got to do as I'm told. The customer, it, the customer is always right. The customer is always right, especially here at Jewelry Maker. But I tell you what, they actually look at the glow yeah. off those. They are on pre-order, you lucky things, MOJM47, but they're coming live in 15 minutes. God, I tell you what, they take on a different life when you pop them against they the skin. Just, yeah. They just, girls. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, uh, oh, are they? Oh, they look like sterling silver to me. Oh, big ones. I'm going to yeah. guess nine mil. Oh, eight mil. Oh, God, I got it right that they're sterling silver. Because you don't need to look at the graphics no. when it's that shiny, do you? No. You just know. You certainly do. I'll tell you what, they've got a nice, um, they've got a nice thickness in them, haven't they? Nice chunky. I like these. These, if these would be really good alongside, you know, like you were saying about the tiger's eye bracelets. Mm-hmm. For the gents, yeah, because they're quite a big chunky sort of style. Yeah, this they are. Work with Again, these. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Great for gents' jewellery. They bolt. Uh, Mark says he uses those as a preference for gents' jewellery. Mm. Mm -hmm. The big bolt ring, sterling silver, don't you know? Bolt ring, big eight mil, one point eight grams of sterling silver. So, of course, if you wanted to prove that, if you wanted to actually see how much each one of those is, you could pop it on your digital scales, couldn't you? F Q G P seven four. Five ninety five. Oh, I watched. I went home and watched um, Line of Duty last night. I watched it. Did you watch it? It was good. 
But I, do you watch that when you watch programmes and they come up with abbreviations and you watch the whole programme thinking, what does that mean? What does that mean? And you try and work it out for the whole programme, the whole hour, and then you have to look it up afterwards because you're going to yeah. know what it means. Didn't... OCG. Didn't know what OCG was. They kept saying OCG. OCG. I'm thinking, OCG? Organised crime gang. Oh. Organised crime gang. I didn't know that. No. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Just thought I'd share that with you. Because yeah. you were watching it last night and you, or Sunday night and you were thinking, what's an OCG? I looked it up for you. So, to not Marano. If you listen to Chess the Musical, if you listen, and you'll, you'll want to listen, if you listen, listen to Chess the Musical, C H E W S, as in Chess the Game, you know, um, written by uh, Benny Bjorg. Uh, what's the two? Is it Benny Bjorg of um, ABBA? Right. They both did with Tim Rice. Oh, mm. oh yeah, Benny Bjorg and uh, ABBA mm. and uh, Tim Rice. Anyway, one of the first songs is about they're off to Murano. It is. It's a bit boring fact. Anyway, uh, start by. <laughs> song in my head now. I was, I was in Chester the Musical. I played Why the Russian, you? Svetlana. Mm. All I oh. can think of is, I know. That's, that was my song. That was my song. Was it? Yeah, I got to walk on after the, after the first half and I got the biggest number of the show, biggest round of applause because I just got to come on and sing I know him so well. <laughs> yes. Um, right then, my lovelies. The, ah, now this is the most unusual shape of the Murano glass I've ever seen. Oh, I've uh, never seen mm, these before. No, I haven't till today. I was like, ooh. Because normally when we've had the Murano glass, they've either been the silver foil inside or the gold foil mm. inside and then around. Yeah. Aren't they? Have you got a little piece of wire I could... Have you got... That I could just... Would... Here, take one of mine. Be careful. Thank you, darling. There you go. Thank you, Katie, That's darling. Fine. I wanted to show them suspended. Now these are, I've got a lovely fuchsia. I don't know whether, you, can you see the fuchsia pink on the outside? Don't think it comes through on the camera very well. Do you, Kate? Look, because it's got like, look, yeah. it's got pink. It's lovely fuchsia. And then it's uh, uh, overlaying the beautiful gold foil in these, uh... Is that the Italian word for bicone? Bicono. It's got to be, hasn't it? Surely, bicono. Either that or we've done it like the strip agate last night. Da da da. Da 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 da. We did. We had three, three strands of strip agate last night. It was brilliant. <laughs> right, anyway. Beautiful Murano glass. It's, it's fun. Have we got the clip of the Murano glass where the gold foil has been overlaid? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. 16 mil of the bicones. Absolutely beautiful, these are, in the Murano glass. And you definitely get three of them, OK? Now, when you see Murano, I'd love to go and see the Murano glass being made. I really, oh, wow. really would. It's just yeah. amazing. There you go, look. All done by hand. And there's your gold, look. And then, oh, it's so clever, isn't it? Oh. And then the lady that... I love this lady in a minute. She's brilliant. Look at that. Look how hot that is. There's a lovely heart being made, look. <laughs> So fat, isn't it? Fat? Wouldn't you love to go and see this being made? Wouldn't yeah. you absolutely love to go and watch somebody do that? I've been to, um, there's a, a glass company called Case Ness Glass. Oh, yeah. You know, that do like the, the sort of paperweights. I've been to that uh, factory. Yeah, it's in uh, How did Kings you get Lynn. to go to that? Well, it's in Kings Lynn. You can go and have a look around the factory can shop you? and then you can go and watch oh, them do it. It's a nice it. day out. It's oh, really nice. to that, you know. It's but it's, um, it's Norfolk. Just oh, that's a long way. Yeah. That's a long way, yeah. that is. Yeah, no, I want to see Claire McDonald do it as well. I mean, can that woman not... Seriously, she's done Sarah Lund, <laughs> wire writing. She, do, she does glass blowing. She used to fit boilers. I oh, know. I mean, what a, what a talented woman. Exactly. Amazing, amongst other things, yeah. obviously. Anyway, yeah, fascinating Murano glass. I hope you can... You can see it slightly in the image there, and you can see it in the studio, but get those out. They've got a beautiful fuchsia pink on the outside. So, enveloped in this, this, this beautiful fuchsia silk and then the gold, it's just fantastic. And I'd love to see it in that huge 16... I mean, a bicone in Swarovski, we tend to go up to about a 6mm, don't mm, we? Four, yeah. six. I think we might do an 8mm. 
well, say we, Swarovski rather. But um, I don't believe they do a 16 mil. And you'll be surprised at the price. I think the price is per... That means they're two pound thirty two each. That's really for Murano glass. That's, Murano glass. It's got the you know really, it is Murano really glass as well. Two pounds thirty two, two pounds thirty two, and two pounds thirty three. I have to say glass, Murano glass, because glass. I think you can't say Murano glass, can you? Don't sound as good as it. <laughs> Mur I've got a Murano glass. <laughs> now in the fuchsia. <laughs> Do you know? Not the most attractive accent, is it? I'd like to apologise. 60 mil, big, beautiful, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, do you know what, as well? We have still got the Zircon. Do you know what? We've got the next hour for you. Oh, my goodness me, you're so lucky. We've got those incredible Zircon. And the most lovely... Christ, cola as well. We're going posh tonight. Posh? You don't know what I'd mean you on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> pick yourself. Let's pick yourself, yourself. You like that Zircon, yeah. don't you? Isn't it beautiful? That is stunning. That's high end. That is yeah. serious gem quality high end zircon. Yeah. That is gorgeous. There you go. Let me give you that back gently. Thank you. That's okay. That's okay. Sorry? Ooh! Now, this is the beginner's toolkit. It's brilliant. Because when you're learning, now I'll, I'll be honest, when I first went on um, the Introduction to Beginner's Jewellery Workshop with Linda Brummer, um, and like I did my one-to-one -one with Mark Smith on McCrame, when somebody says pick up the chain nose, when you're starting... Yeah. What's it? And when you see a chain nose and a flat nose, I'm sorry, they look really similar Just, when you're first starting. Similar, yeah. You don't confuse them now, but when you don't know what you're doing, pick up your own nose pliers, pick up your... You know, I'm in a cutter, fair enough. You kind yeah. of can guess what the snippers got, yeah. I think chainos I, and oh, so this is good because what you could do if you've got people that are learning is you can just go oh instead of those are chainos by the way in case you don't know but I know most of you do but those are chainos because they're flat nose but with their with a taper at the at the top so they're brilliant but if you just said to the beginner pick up the red handle pliers or you went actually to get them to learn pick up the chainos red handle pliers yeah that's going to start to seep mm. into the brain isn't it right yeah, okay as soon as definitely. you see that and I just think then you'll get to know the shape. Again, you know, pick up the blue, blue round nose. It just helps, doesn't it, as you're learning. So you've got... Now, I, I know Katie's going to back me up here. If you buy this beginner's jewellery making kit, you've got chain nose, you've got round nose, and you've got a pair of yellow handled cutters. Now, you can, without question, therefore, start to make jewellery. Oh, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Because I always class this as my cutlery jewellery essentials, my knife, and my fork and my spoon. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And, you know, with, with everything else that we do here, that's it. That's all you need. Is gonna, you're yep. going to need all of that. That's it. Because you can open and close a jump ring. Yep. You can do, you can uh, turn an angle into some wire. You certainly can. You can do a, a, a round loop, an eye pin. Yeah, you can even make, like, little mini cones with the... Yeah, uh, like the Wags Y cone. Yep. A little bit of gizmo coil. It'll exactly, be tapered, yeah. granted, but it'll be like your yeah. Wags Y cone, yeah. Do your chain mail. Yep. You know, you've got, you've got, I mean, ideally with Chamo, you'd need two of them, wouldn't you? Yeah. Ideally. Because I, 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 Fleur doesn't suggest in the Chamo that you ever use your own nose to no, open and close jump rings. No, you can't. Well, I did it the other week with a, trying to, you know, the open, little closey bit on the earrings on the shelf Oh, yes, Oh, yeah. well, I ruined a pair of them, didn't I? Not fixed them, but I came in, I was getting really stroppy, and I went, is it because you've got your own nose pliers, woman? I was getting frustrated, wasn't I? I got it, yeah, but they're all laughing because I got frustrated in the office and I was trying to... When I got home and I did all the jump rings with all my necklaces, oh, I'd got it. He said I wasn't being... I wasn't being assertive enough with yeah. the pliers. I was being too... too you know, I was, yeah. you know, and I was, I was pulling them out of shape. And now I'm like... Vroom, vroom. It's, oh, like vroom, it's like vroom. playing golf. If you, you've got... You, you let the clubs do the work yeah, for exactly. you instead yeah. of but do you it trying proper. to force it. Don't, yeah. don't like... Ooh, and I yeah. was going... Ooh, and now I just go... Ooh. Mm. I've got it now. Yeah. So we're going to do each pair of pliers for one pound eighteen ish. One pound eighteen. I don't understand how we can even make it for that. If you don't mind me saying, let alone sell it and make any profit. Oh, yeah. Round nose, chain nose, and cutters. Cutters, round nose, round nose, round nose. Chain nose. 
It's a good deal, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that is incredible. That's oh. incredible. We've got Easter coming up as well, and the kids are going to be oh. off. This is a good one, too. Two uh, weeks, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Is it two whole weeks they're off? I think so. Mum's too old now for... How old's yours now? He's 20 this year. Is he? Yeah. 20. She doesn't look like she could have a 20-year-old, <laughs> does she? Come on. <laughs> she doesn't, though, does she? You don't look 20 yourself in some days. <laughs> she doesn't know, does she? How old are you? 40, I'm 41. Yeah, it was a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it wearing in your head, see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, we had a book on the show the other night. I think it was Sunday night, actually. And at the back of the book, it was all about beading with cabochons. Mm. Beading cabochons, rather. And at the back of the book, there was actually Unakite cabochons that had been uh, bezel set. That was a lovely book. Was it was a really good book. Oh. It was gorgeous. And uh, we had these, and we'd been... We decided we'd bring them back for you because they're beautiful. Ten carats, roughly, in each drop. A fantastic quality knockout unakite. Okay, unakite has got this really, I think, very much floral bouquet design in yes. the surface, don't yeah. you? With a mixture of the foliage and then the stems of this really unusual, gorgeous. I'm thinking, it's like when you have the terracotta pots outside as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah. That lovely terracotta. Mm. Monty Don likes a terracotta pot. Yeah, I bought some terracotta pots here. Did you? Yeah. Mm. I've got some succulents to go into them. Oh, what? Succulents. Isn't that meat? <laughs> I thought meat was succulent. <laughs> I'm missing something. I thought meat was succulent. <laughs> they're succulents. They're Are like... you sure? No, honestly. Succulents. They're succulents, yeah. They're like um, desert plants. Type things, yeah. Is she telling the truth? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's why I got to go in my terracotta pots. But the, you're, you're right with the colours because they've got like that sort of blush pink they have, sort they? of colour. And then and you've got like the green of the plant. Yeah, I just think they look pink. <laughs> Where's it break time? Uh, <laughs> DYTA63, beautiful teardrops. I don't know if I like calling them a teardrop. That makes it sound a bit sad. Oh. Pe drop. I think it's a pear drop. Yeah. Let's not go teardrop. Yeah, teardrop drop makes you think something. Sad, yeah. Anyway. Uh, right then. So, the good news is, and it is good news, my goodness, goodness me. Um, okay, they're on pre order. So, if you're, if you're not aware, the amazing Zircon are on pre order. Uh, no, it's a limited edition. We only have 79 available for you, okay? And the thing is, we did start when we opened the pre-orders with 79. We don't have that many left. So, good luck to you after the break. But you can check out now if you want to, MOJ, MOJN47. Uh, and we'll see you in a minute. Maker. For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
Hi, I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again, I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun, a lot of cake, any excuse for cake and amazing bargains. I've selected some extraordinary items and PR offers, there will be many. So I look forward to seeing you next Thursday for my birthday show. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gems show. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to tell you about Wednesday, which is going to be a really interesting day. We've got Feldspar family showcases. So the Feldspar family is a really huge family of gemstones, and it includes everything from Amazonite, Labradorite, Moonstone, Andesine, a little bit of everything. And we've got all sorts of treats for you throughout the day. So tune in on Wednesday for Feldspar family showcases on Jewelry Maker. Oh, I tell you what, we've got a real treat for you today, haven't we, young Katie? We certainly have. Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, um, I we talk about we talk about new new finds and new deposits and new gemstones, gemstones and things like that. But zircon, you, it's the ultimate. It is the ultimate. It is if if yeah. if, if as, you know if all your gemstones lined up in the world and you had to say who's the daddy, it's going to be zircon. Isn't it? I mean, the absolute godfather yeah. of the gemstone world. There's just no argument. 4.7 billion years. Now, what I, you know, when we talk about durability in, 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 in jewellery, durability of gemstones, well, if there's a gemstone that has withstood all that heat and pressure and tectonic planet, you know, um, land mass movement, heat, pressure, pressure like there's, you know, I mean, we talk about pressure, don't we? Oh, I feel a bit under pressure. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Um, if it can withstand 4.7 billion years, I've got a feeling it's going to work all yeah. right in jewellery. I think so. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Now, zircon can be colourless. It can be white. It can be every colour under the sun. I, I think we tend to think, when we think of zircon, I don't know about you, I think of blue or white. Yeah. Blue or colourless, yeah. white colour. That's what I tend to think. But there are some tones of zircon that, for the past few years, have been the colours to, to find, if you can. You know, like when there's a very rarely a purple sapphire, and people want to try and get the purple sapphire because they're very rare. You know, you know that kind of colour of something that, you, like blue amber. There's a classic example. Yeah. Everybody wants to drop or a red natural diamond, the rarest gemstone on the mm -hmm. planet, according to the Forbes listing. So there are gemstones where the colour is key. In zircon right now, if you can get red, or it's like a champagne prosecco style. Sherry tone, cognac tone. No, I'm going to go sherry, not cognac. Sherry tone. That's that's really, really highly sought after at the moment. And I'm talking really fashionable, really fashionable. Because we think blue. We think no. It's people are now shifting. There's trends with colour, isn't there? You know. And that's what we've got here. And what gemstone um, collectors and talk about with this gemstone is, we talk about brilliance all the time. They 
a lot of gemologists and the majority of gemologists refer to zircon as the most brilliant of all gemstones the most brilliant and you'll see that there and what the lovely thing what what happens with zircon is it comes in a wide spectrum of colors including those reds and these beautiful do you see what i mean about prosecco champagne sherry tones there there's even a yeah. purple there actually which is really unusual uh, you get blue, standard. I say blue, not standard, that's not fair. Blue, I would say, is classical. White, I would say, is classical. Um, and for many, 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 many years with zircon, the colourless variety, which looks more like a diamond than any other natural gemstone due to its luminosity and dispersion, that was the most popular. Well, there's been a shift. There really has. Um, it has been set into, into jewellery since antiquity. It really has. It's just an extraordinary gemstone and if you want sparkle and you want brilliance quite frankly you cannot beat zircon you just cannot um originally if you've ever heard or read a, a textbook on gemstones and you've heard of the matara diamond have you ever heard of that no, no. So i think some people will well the matara diamond um was actually a zircon but because you've got, and you can see in the background there, because can you see the, the gemstones in the background where they're out of focus? Can you see the fire that you get in yeah. a diamond? It absolutely blows away the, the amount of fire that you're ever going to get in a diamond. Um, and the reason that we get excited about the, the zircons that we've got in the studio today is this today's must have, is because from the original Persian language, zircon actually, because it was obviously that's what it was named, zircon, in the Persian language, it actually means golden coloured. And even in, um, in Arabic, the word for red is zarkon, zircon. And again, it's these red, beautiful brown tones. Uh, I mean, it was originally called, um, historically known as the hyacinth, the zircon. So again, that would suggest to me, if these are rich, these really old languages, the Persian language, mm. the Arabic, all these kinds, if they're referring to it as red and golden coloured and hyacinth yeah. coloured, that to me tells me that this is the colour they were looking for, or this mm. is the one that they were used to. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And that's what that, that goes back to. What you get is um, amazing brilliance, and that's because it is one of the rare gemstones that is doubly refractive. And you might go, oh my gosh, it's boring me now. Uh, and you might go, so what? If somebody says to me, oh, it's doubly refractive, I go, yeah, and? Why am I bothered? Well, that's why, that's why you get this amazing brilliance, because it doesn't happen with the diamond. So you get more brilliance. What happens is light enters the gemstone, and the only way I can describe it, you, may, you know when you see a pinball machine? Yeah, and the, and, and the ball bounces off all those little sections and makes it... Yeah. yeah. Well, what happens with the light is it goes into the gemstone, ricochets around the inside of the gemstone like a pinball machine, and then it absolutely bursts like a comet back out of the uh, out of the gemstone um it splits into two effectively so the light goes in and in a diamond it comes straight back out again in a in a zircon the light goes in splits into two ricochets around and then bursts out of the gemstone way faster than it entered and that's what gives you the adamantine lust of the fire and that's what gives you the extra level of brilliance how cool is that that is fantastic cool, isn't it? Yeah. diamond can't do that so it's almost like you know when you go into a hall of mirrors and you see so many reflections of yourself that's what's happening. So basically that light is being, is, 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 those double rays have been sort of just moved into different directions and that's what gives you that amazing brilliance. And these colours, oh my word. Every single one of these has got the most amazing clarity look. I'm just gonna give you a close up as we go along, look. And if I just keep turning that up so you can see the base of the actual gemstones, you can really see the clarity there. You've even got a colourless one in the middle there, look. You've got purples, you've got yellows, you've got the most incredible array of colours actually here. Really, really gorgeous. 4.6, 4.7 billion years old. 7.5 on the most hardness scale, for those of you wondering as well. So it's a really hard gemstone. And I tell you what, if you love sparkle, if you love brilliance, if you love rarity, because this is at least double the rarity of diamond, if you love all of those aspects of a gemstone, and who doesn't? Clarity, brilliance, fire. Mm. Kind of delivers everything, doesn't it? It certainly does. I mean, when I picked it up earlier on, I mean, just the the things, that are, the the designs going through my head were absolutely incredible. I mean, 
this would be lovely in a really opulent sort of oh, tiara. Yeah. Uh -huh. It would be perfect in waterfall style earrings with sterling silver chain. Agreed. You know, it, it, it just, I could just imagine sitting at a candlelit dinner and these just like yeah. taking centre stage completely. Do you know the thing I was saying to the buying team the other day when we talked about these as well is, actually, you know the amazing Songhia Sapphire which is now depleted? Yeah. I think if you never got hold of Songhia Sapphire, now I know it's a completely different gemstone, but bear with me. And being an absolute fan, um, I mean, I've got several strands of Songhia Sapphire, which I adore. If you never got Songhia Sapphire, now that it's depleted, and you, you, you really upset that you never got them, it is different, but it's about the closest thing I can describe to you as being close to Songhia Sapphire. Yeah. With those lovely bright colours, with that incredible facet work. Obviously, the facet work isn't dependent on the gemstone, it's dependent on where you buy it from. But... Those bold colours, those bright colours and that clarity that you get from Songhia Sapphire. This is, about the, this is about the closest sort of cousin that I could get to Songhia Sapphire for you. It's just incredible. Really, really lovely. Now, those of you that have already checked out, Melanie, Annalie, Margaret, David, Kate, Anila, Angela, Sandra, Tracy, Davinia. It's so lovely to see. Now, I'm not going to mention a certain person in Warwickshire before I get told off. Um, but um, yeah, it's so lovely to see so many of the regular gang managing to get in their hands on these because this is a real collector's treat. Really, really is. Now you're all checking out at a 54.95 price. Now I am really happy and really confident in the quality of those that you are getting a great buy price there. Okay? Genuinely. Very, very, very happy and content that we've looked after you there. Now, Devin, they are beautiful. They are mum's birthstone, she says. Got mine. It was your mum a December baby. So that's the other thing to mention, December. If you want to give the December birthstone to somebody as well, look at the glow on the skin. So yeah, they take on a completely oh, different look. Don't they? Oh, my word. Stacy, a uh, certain person in Warwickshire, Claire... Uh, Jill, Helen, Anne, are you all waiting to see if we dare to take these phenomenal... I mean, we don't... Oh, I'll be honest. We really don't need to take that price down. We really, no. really don't. But we are. Because <laughs> we can't help ourselves, can we? It's just what we do. It's just what we do. OK. Stunning multi-zircon. Am I, is, that, is that 15 pounds? 20 pounds? 15 pounds? 15 pounds saving. Oh. 25 carats of zircon. And in all these beautiful colours, beautiful collectible colours. There's a purple on there, there's a colourless, there's beautiful yellows, there's golds, there's sunrise, there's sunset. There's those lovely, really highly sought after, very, very fashionable right now, sherry tones. So, Zet, well done. Helen, you got them. Melanie, you got them. Anne, you've got them. Pam, Jill, Claire, uh, Stacey coming on those as well. They are just delicious, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Oh. You can understand why they've been so famous, uh, so popular for so many hundreds and thousands of years, can't you? You really can. That incredible... And this is the thing, I know we talk about, oh God, we rave, don't we, about the um, history of amber, Baltic amber being sort of uh, up to the sort of time of the, hopefully the, the end of the Mesozoic period with the dinosaurs. You think, oh, I get to wear amber and it was possibly there when the dinosaurs were there. This is before anything was here. I mean, practically, the sun, the moon, the earth, zircon, it's the original quartet, yeah. isn't it? Oh, that is just... It's beautiful. It's mesmerising. Really, really is, isn't it? Is. Absolutely incredible. Uh, now, I do obviously now have a lot of people coming in on the telephone. I, um, I also have a lot of collectors now coming in, which I did anticipate, to be fair. Collector in the Channel Islands, collector in Greater London, collector in Merseyside, collector in Gloucestershire coming in as well. Um, Pam, Geraldine, Kathy, Joanne, you've just managed to secure yourself one, so well done. I think you might want to think about getting that authenticity card. Might be a nice idea. They're only 25p. I love to have proof, me. Yeah, I do. Because I think it's, I think it takes away. If you do sell your jewellery, takes away that that any kind of cynical objection of somebody going, well, are they real? Because if somebody's a little bit naughty, these people that sell, you know, say things that are coloured glass and they say they're amethyst mm. or they say that they're 
they pass it off as amber and it's actually copal and all yeah. that kind of thing. If you're that kind of person that hasn't got a conscience and will do that to people, if somebody asks you if it's real, you're not going to say it isn't. No. Are you? No. You're going to say, yes, it is. The great thing is, if somebody says to you, are they real Zircon, you don't have to put your credibility on the line. You just show the certif certificate of authenticity. And you can print extra ones off, so they're just 25p each. You can go and... That's the great... That's the thing to mention, by the way. That's why I rave on about you. If you do buy on the phone, and I'm guilty of that, but if you do buy on the phone, it's actually really handy if you buy online on the app or on the web because you've got a history of all your orders. You can go back into your orders and reprint mm. and re you know, your, your authenticity card, which if you're selling or you're gifting... Now, if I give gifts to my friends and family, I can't... It sounds awful, but I don't know whether this is a bit show off of me. I want, I want them to know. Now, they'll know if it's a diamond mm. or a pearl. Yeah. They know them, but they don't know. Imagine if I gave somebody a grand didier right and they didn't know what it was. No. I ain't having that. And in all seriousness, for, like, let's say you make up some jewellery with yeah. this and you give them the certificate of authenticity and then they lose it or something happens. At least they've got something there for their exactly. insurance purposes exactly. as well. Exactly. So, you know, it's... Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's extraordinary a, a thing to get. Yeah. Now, Sarah's coming on the phone. Mary's coming on the phone. Denise in California. Hey, well done, sweet pea. They are gorgeous. I've now got Susan, Stephanie lining up in the baskets. Lots of collectors still. $39.95. That is a live late show price point for you this evening. You know what happens at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning? It'll revert back to the original price. And you can't get it then at $39.95. So you do have to you do have to make a decision sort of pretty quick either mm. one because I mean we only started with seventy nine you've heard how many people have checked out already I've even got a certain young lady in West Yorkshire buying two well you just saved yourself thirty pounds now lovely guest designer young Katie yes. Reed what would you do with those now Sarah on the show last night taught us how to do a brio let wrap yeah. But that you would do that to create your waterfall style earrings. You would. So I know that we have in the past sold a sterling silver earring um, component that has different lengths of we have sterling actually, silver chain. Yeah, with those little loops. That yeah. was lovely, wasn't it? Um, I have uh, London blue topaz <whistles> on mine. So, you know, I, but I just think they're really nice. And again, like I say, when you turn your head, when you move, obviously they're going to catch the light. Mm. And, and if you're in um, incandescent, in, in, Cand Easy for you to say. Yes. Incandescent. That's the word. Candlelight. Just yeah. say candlelight. Candles. Just much. That's yeah. what Jack Sabretti singing about. Candlelight. Just say that. It's much easier. You're in candlelight. <laughs> Oh, so when you're in candlelight, you know, this is, these are just going to look lovely. <laughs> oh, you've lost me now. I'm thinking of Jack Savaretti. Have you seen him? No. Oh, look up Jack Savaretti. Not only can he sing like a god, but, oh. Oh, you wait till you hear him. Jack Savaretti. <laughs> oh, dear me. Honestly, do you know what? Can I just say to, uh, to everybody, I fell in love with Jack Savaretti and his music before I'd even seen him. That was just a bonus. Okay. 39.9. Oh, would you like to know how many, my darlings? Just as an it just out of interest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh gosh, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wow. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 43. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. Can I just do one more thing? Do you mind? There are, when, you, when I did that then, and I counted those 43 yeah. up close and personal, there are actually way more colour tones than I actually realised there were. Can we have a little close-up, my friend? Look, 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 look. Let me try and show you. Look, 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 look. Ooh, there's a lot of colours on there, look. Aren't there? Each one is like a slightly different tone, isn't it? Oh, wow, yeah. that is one spectacular strand of zircon. Oh, they're so good. Oh, I don't want to. Now then, I'm a bit worried about you all with it in your baskets. Victoria, Susan, Stephanie, collector, 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 Claire, and uh, you know who in Warwickshire. I outed somebody earlier. Yeah. Don't want to get them in trouble again. <laughs> uh, right then, my lovelies. Oops, a daisy daisy. I've just dropped something. Oh, just landed on my chair. Oh. Do 
I could do with you. You know, them long handled wooden plots. You probably won't remember this, but you know, when your nan, did your nan used to have one of them top loader washing machines? Top loader washing machines, yeah. and you had to, it was really deep, and you had them wooden handle prongs to get your washing out because it was oh, so deep. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah, the tongs, do you remember? yeah. David said Jack Savaretti, delicious ears, and I mean, you could literally just. Oof. I'm going to have to have a look. It's beautiful, honestly. Mm. He's apt. And when he sings live, I'm going to see him live. Booked my tickets. Evelyn says, hey, I'm her mum. Who's mum? My mum. Oh, it's your mum, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> I'm her mum and I don't look like I have a 20-year-old grandson, let alone a 27-year-old granddaughter. Oh. Yeah. That told me, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Does she refer Evelyn or Evelyn? Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah. Evelyn. Sorry, don't remember Evelyn. that. that yeah, day, yeah I, that's yeah. why I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, God, do you remember she proper told me off, didn't she? Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember? Or was it you? It was, it was you, wasn't it? So it wasn't it, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I said, it's Evelyn. Yeah, I was over there. <laughs> oh, it's all coming back to me now, so I'm like lady. <laughs> and honestly, I remember now, yeah. And I was like, I don't know, then I said something about it. I thought, how did I pronounce it then? Evelyn. Evelyn, like, yeah. Like, yeah, and I was like, and she probably went, Evelyn. I went, all right. <laughs> Evelyn, I just thought you were oh, better than that. Who's the 27-year-old granddaughter, then? They're uh, my sister's oh, girls, yeah. Oh. Christine's girls. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a posh box. Ooh. Um, Opal. How did we get this after we had the black opal last night? That is fantastic. That is sexy, man. Yeah. Sexy. Sexy. Oh, gosh, that is so good. Do you want to put it on the blackboard? Because I think you might miss it. Oh, studio lights, go away. So black Ethiopian opal with those gorgeous neon greens, neon yellows, violet rare. There's your reds. Oh, that's there you go. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for your purples, uber rare. You're looking for your reds and your oranges, uber there. And the greens and the yellows and all the other tones are just a bonus. Stunning Ethiopian black opal. Big long strand actually, 18 centimetre strand, all exquisitely faceted for you, and a gift box. I can remember we get those gift boxes yeah, away as well, and they're not, they're, they're not the cheap gift boxes, no, they're, they're not. proper designer gift boxes with a, with, a, with a peephole window. And a magnet. Yeah, and a magnet, I was mm -hmm. thinking, hang on, where's that, but you mean on the lid, don't you? Yeah. With the, when it goes the, uh, yeah. did you hear that then actually? We did forget to show you that. We get so used to showing you the gemstones, don't we? Just, just to mention, we have this beautiful um, jewellery maker box with the, with the little uh, see-through peephole window, yeah? Then you gemstones of distinction. Then this is handy as well because that is where you can then gift your bracelet or necklace yeah. and it just slides under the elastic there. You've got a lovely cushion section, which if you want to, it does come out. It is removable. Don't forget to talk about this. And then this is what um, Katie's on about. When you put that to their look, listen to the magnet as the lid closes. You see? It's a definite magnet there, isn't it? Look, yeah. listen to it again. There you go. Beautiful gift box. So I just thought I'd share that with you because we forget to mention it. We just, we just take the gift box off. I mean, when you when you go to online jewelry stores, uh, jewelry websites, look at their packaging prices. I'm sure, like a standard cardboard box type e earring e earring box, two, about two pound ninety nine. <laughs> Earring, oh, I don't know why I stu I stu God got a stutter then. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, Brand me, me and Kleshna were talking about this the other day out in the conservatory. Kleshna and I sorry. were talking about sorry. this. Sorry, Kleshna and I. <laughs> sorry, but we're Evelyn's talking. watching. The least you could do is talk proper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, go on. Yeah, Kleshna yeah, and I. We were talking about um, buying dresses online, and she was telling me about this site. She said she gets her dresses, and they all have like tissue, tissue paper yeah. and everything. And I said it does make a big difference. It does. It does. It really does. 
does the packaging. So 22 carats of black, Ethiopian opal. I can't speak right. I, I need a day off. <laughs> I'm going to give everybody a day off. They're all going, do you know what? Would you have a day off so you can give us a break? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> the weirdness of you. So then 22 carats. K-N, I can't speak. K-O-N-V-6-0. I will show you, with you what we should be asking you to part with on your credit card, your debit card, or your PayPal. PayPal. Thank you. Do you know what stopped me then? I just decided to wonder why one of my credit cards, my very well-known department store, isn't contactless. Don't know why it isn't. So it just just went into my head then. Don't know why. You don't like contacts. I don't like contacts, but I don't like not having contactless when I could have it, even though I don't use it. Typical woman that is, isn't it? <laughs> I don't use it, but I don't have it. <laughs> and I'm miffed that I don't have it, even though if I did have it, I wouldn't use it anyway. So what's the point? There is no point. Just don't like to be shortchanged. OK, would you like the Late Show price? Yes, please. Yeah, would you like us to take a whopping great big 4-0 off that price? Ooh. Yes, I think is the answer. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Four, I mean, that's impressive. So it's 90. Think about that in a shop. Like if you see a dress for 90 pounds, well 89.95, let's be right. And then there's that much off the dress, yeah. you're gonna enjoy wearing it more. Yeah. Aren't you? Absolutely. Because you know you're paying way less than you mm. should do. So it's, yeah. it's a lovely feeling that is. It's like when I bought that um, animal print top the other day. Yeah. I was so chuffed with it because I thought it was lovely. It wasn't too over the top animal print. And it was three pounds ninety-nine. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Um, Three pound ninety nine. That's, that's really that. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Forty nine ninety five. Okay, forty nine ninety five. Do you know? I went for a meal once with my. Um, in fact, he's messaged me today. My my second cousin Andrew, who's a very handsome pilot. Anyway, um, we. If you're watching, hi Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> he might be watching tonight because he's going to ring me and I went, no, I'm on the telly box. And he watches, he watches sometimes. Anyway, we went to this beautiful hotel for dinner. Do you know, we had two bottles of wine, red wine, like a flurry, beautiful. I mean, oh, my goodness, it was amazing. Do you know how much these bottles of wine were? I've never forgotten. Do you know how much these bottles of wine were? And he had, we had two. £89. I mean, it was really nice. It was amazing. Yeah. It was the first time I, had, I was served in a, an amuse bouche as well. When they came oh. and said an amuse bouche, I went, what? <laughs> yeah, so it was proper posh. Yeah. So I didn't, I, you know, I didn't fit in at all. £89 for a bottle of wine. That's when it puts it into context, the, the price of these yeah. amazing rare gemstones, doesn't it? There's people buy, paying that for wine. Don't get me wrong, I, oh, now, I, I, oh, I do. I mean, I, w I wouldn't personally pay that, obviously. No. <laughs> But I didn't mind drinking it when somebody else was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, really? Is that most? Is that? Oh. Ooh. Um. I've. Mm, can I check something? Because I might have had the. Uh, no, it's okay. The. How do I word this nicely? If you can't afford purple sapphire, most of them are, are, pfft, hi. <laughs> uh, we're all like, yeah. And it's not even can you afford purple sapphire, it's actually getting your sticky mitts on purple yeah. sapphire. That's the difficult bit because no, nobody. It's one of those think, locations that, um, one of those finds, people won't even tell you where they're from. People won't even announce the location that they got them from. You just can't get them. Um, we have these Mozambique, Mozambique purple garnet. It's the brightest. Most transparent garnet in the most incredible purple you're ever likely to, to see. You get these really gorgeous, um, beautiful, transparent clarity to translucent, and that is, and, and you get the brightest purple, don't you, in a Mozambique yeah. garnet? I mean, real high end. It's a bit like those zircons we've just seen. High end garnet. We all know all gemstones aren't created equal. You can get garnet in again, a really wide spectrum of colours. You can get colourless, you can get black, you can get orange, red, green, purple. But if you are looking for the classical purple garnet, and the more purple, the more value, you cannot get more purple than you, than you get in a Mozambique garnet, in my opinion. It's just, it's just an impossibility. It's just incredible. Um, beautiful. 
Absolutely beautiful. Now, what I like about this as well is if you are in love with somebody, the Mozambique purple garnet is said when gifted in jewellery to be the ultimate... Get this, this is important if you're going to be gifting this to somebody because you need to know what it represents before you get yourself in trouble. A bit like in Mary Poppins, do you remember when he says supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and then she ended up being his wife? That kind of thing, right? It is said to be the ultimate declaration of love. The ultimate. So just be careful. TBLP63, stunning. Do you own any of this lovely girl? No, I don't. What do you think of it? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. It is, isn't it? Purple it isn't really my favourite colour, but mm -hmm. this is absolutely it's extraordinary. And I, would, isn't it? and I would definitely, definitely get this. I think this would look fabulous as well with um, black spinel. I think that's what I would put Ooh, it with. Oh, would you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So, it, like the drops that were in the kit, I would probably yeah. use these as spaces in between those. Okay. Just yeah. to... They're gorgeous. Yeah. Now, again, we are on the Late Show. We are allowed to do um, some exceptional treats for you on the last of stock here on the Late Show for you. 59.95 was already brilliant. A bit like the Zircon. It was already brilliant. It really is. She's matched the Zircon price for you. That's two massive savings mm. on high-end Mozambique garnet and high-end Zircon that we've given you tonight. Is there any of the Zircon left, sweetie? There are a few. Okay, emphasis on being on few, apparently. There are a few of those incredible Zircon um, still available. Okay, well done on the Mozambique garnet. Okay, we're very conscious. Oh, I'll tell you what does it... Oh! Oh, it comes in that beautiful... Um... Oh, wow. Oh, hello. I've never seen one like that. Have you? No. It's got a matching velvet pot. Um... Oh! Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's a posh suede pouch. That certainly is. Anyway, sorry. Uh, right, then, I promised you another sell by did nine. I said it was another um, beautiful gemstone that... Uh, uber rare. I'll do that for you next. I don't know about you, but do you feel like there's a bit of cheek coming from that in there? There's a lot of cheek. There's a lot of cheek, mm. isn't there? Yeah. It's a good job I've got you. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. You having a nice evening? Are you? Full of sugar. You're full, full of, of sugar. sugar. I know you are. She's bouncing <laughs> off the walls, this one. She, she's had that much sugar. Right then, okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is oh, like oh, I know you'd like one of my favourite that, colours. That's long. That is very long. <laughs> so I wouldn't expect to see a full 38 centimetres of a classic cola. <laughs> that's very long. I've doubled it over so you can see all the lovely colours. Um, so, what you get, as you can see there from the surface, is this really unusual mixture of, of beautiful tones of colours. Um, it's super, 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 super rare, and it is very much prized for this effect. Now, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Anyway, um, everybody thinks that's Whitney Houston, you know. It's not, it's George Benson. It was Whitney Houston, yeah. but George Benson sang it first. He wrote it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, so, Christ Colour. Prized for those multi-colour of pa multi-patterns that are beautifully swirling over the surface. And then that lovely mixture of gorgeous, vivid blue to sort of that green, sire, green and blue sire, I suppose. Do you know why it gets that? What creates that? Copper. You're at, oh, get you with the copper bearing family. Mm -mm. Yeah, baby. 
What other gemstones come, in the, come from the copper bearing family of gemstones other than Chrysocolla? One of a very, 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 very rare one. Very rare. No, good call though. Any other ideas? Paddy Abertormany. Oh. Paddy Abertormany. Oh, yeah. And your malachite, turquoise, as you're right, Larimar, Oregon sunstone, all have, um, it's a very small group of copper bearing gemstones. And Chrysocolla um, is very much a lesser known gemstone, but those of us and those of the, um, in, in the gemstone collectors, well, I'm talking real avid collectors of gemstones, they will not feel that their collection is complete without owning Chrysocolla. And the Kong, could that have actually been any louder in our room? <laughs> Gosh. I thought she'd fallen off her chair. Oh, I don't, can I just explain something to my team? And what explains what happens is, they've got a microphone that's in our, it basically amplified in our, inside our ear. And they do think sometimes, well, they'll eat a packet of crisps. And you know sometimes, have you ever rung to me on a mobile phone? Where it's so loud that it's, or they're doing the washing up and it's so yeah. bad. She's just got a piece of paper and gone like this. Imagine that <laughs> amplified in your ear and we're like, oh, that actually hurt, didn't it? Did that hurt you a little I bit? I thought she'd fallen off her chair. Honestly. <laughs> Sorry, just very difficult. Okay, so, um, what I, yeah, around the world we're off to, we're, on, we're in the Congo. Yeah. Didn't get much more around the world than that, do you? Look at that. We have been around the world a lot tonight. Oh, I love them. I love them. And yeah. I, do, I, do, I, I do genuinely believe that if you are a massive turquoise lover and you've never owned Chrysocolla, give them a try. Yeah, You'll definitely. fall head over heels in love with them. So the technique I did with the seed beads, with the cross, you could do that with Yeah, these. oh, that would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. That would make a really nice cross, actually. Other things to mention, if you're looking for something for makes for men of all ages, I cannot recommend Chrysocolla enough to you. All of the gentlemen here, all of, and I'm talking all ages, we've got some of the guys in their early 20s, 30s, 40s, every single one of them absolutely loves Chrysocolla. Mm. Loves it. And I'll tell you what, great to get it in, the, in a whole strand of matching four mil. Yeah. So you could do some cool macrame bracelets, absolutely, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Beady beads. Beady beads. Yeah, perfect. All sing a book, Rogers, in the 21st century, <laughs> don't you? Beady bead. <laughs> Beady bead. IGNV06, we're showing our age. Well, my age. Oh, no, I used to watch it too. You're only 41. Yeah. I'm seven years a, a, a bit across from you. Oh, whatever the word is, you're older. <laughs> Honestly, this, this ability and lack of speech will come to you. <laughs> it does. does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so rare, beautiful, Chrysocolla, utterly fascinating, mixture of these gorgeous blues and, and green cyans and swirling patterns and, and the more of that the better because that's what you want that's what you're looking for textbook beautiful pardon me moi 60.95 i take it six 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 that, no It's not an around the bend day. Eh? That seems very low, doesn't it? Do you know what? Let's not complain. Let's no. not complain. Yeah. Let's just go. Oh, 16.95. Brilliant. Thanks. Oh, do you remember that on the fast show? That kid, the, when he always goes, everything's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> that was great, that was. 48 carats of Chrysocolla, 4 mil, beautiful smooth rounds. 16.95. That is superb. Absolutely superb. Do you know what I had today? I went to a, a farm cafe, it's a very popular farm cafe near where I live, right? Packed every time. Anyway, my I went with my friend, she said to me, my husband came here yesterday and I said, do you want to go again today? She went, yeah. I said, okay. And she went, I said, I'm starving because yesterday I had two hot cross buns and that's all I had all day because I didn't have time, so I got stuck on the motorway, then I came on air because I hadn't wanted to go home, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I starved it, starved it, ravenous in fact. Anyway, she said, they do an all day breakfast, Sausage, bacon, poached oh. egg, beans, and do you know what else it came with? Chips. Mm. All day breakfast, 
double sausages, double bacon. Sorry to any vegetarians, I do apologise in vegans, but double sausage, double bacon, poached oh. egg, beans, Where and chips. Where was this? I cleared <laughs> the lot. I just went. <laughs> I, I didn't have a pudding. I didn't have a pudding, but oh man, it was good. <laughs> chips on an all day breakfast. Oh. Did you give pudding? No. Chips dipped in your egg. Oh, oh. yeah. Mm. See me green, I'll show you. Well, just round the corner for me green, I'll show you. Oh. Oh, pinkity pink. Pinkity pink. Do you know, I love I love the jewelry maker because we 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 don't hardly ever bring you pink tourmaline and then when we do, we, <laughs> we, we give you like eight, a metre. A metre. Now this is most definitely last of stock. Because I happen to know that this is not 98 centimetres, it is a metre. I don't know why we undersold ourselves here. But we have got lovely nuggets of pink tourmaline and a metre length. Now, we're, we're in Nigeria now. We are, um, oh, we are like, this is yeah. one expensive plane flight, isn't it? <laughs> eh? Can you imagine making all these stops on a plane? DLRU25. In those wonderful, there is a beautiful depth of colour to yes, these there pinks, is. isn't there? I was going to say, this, this the colour is amazing on mm. this. I'll tell you what, that would go lovely with your next kit with the Mookites. It certainly would. When we go down under. Yeah. Don't we? Down, down under. under. Yeah. So these are going to be absolutely delicious with the Mookite in... Um, in uh, Katie's lovely kit that we've got coming up in less than half an hour now, actually, with another demo. That's right. Do you have we still got the memory wire in the show on Friday night? Yes, we have. Right, we've got some memory wire in the show on Friday night. Lovely, and I will wear some of my memory wire cord mm. bracelets because they look lovely, don't they? Yeah. Um, you'll be surprised how high end a piece of jewelry you can turn those into, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I. I Got quite a few memory wire bracelets just like that. I mean, as well. They're great and so easy to yeah. wear, aren't they? Take on and mm. take off and beautiful. Just notice you've got a sweetie on your dress. Have I? Yeah, I won't point out <laughs> to it because it's right in the very un uh, inappropriate area. But there is a so left, 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 left. There's a yeah, there's a oh, pug. Yeah, got a pug on there. You got a pug, isn't there? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well done on that, by the way. Well done. So, again, again, nuggets. Oh, gosh, that's good. Ooh, Look at that. Yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? Wow. It's like a string of fairy lights going off in there. Wow. Oh, gosh. They're... Oh, my goodness me. That is one cracking strand, isn't it? When I say a strand. It is a super length. I wish these came with a little stick on cape floating in the wind because they are super, super long. 72 carats of lovely Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal made up of all those little tiny silica spheres and all that different sizes of the silica spheres is what creates that beautiful, what we know in the, in the industry is a play of colour. It's incredible, isn't it? When you actually twist them all together like that as if you would if you were, let's say, crocheting or you were doing a lovely... Uh, Kumahimo design, or even a nice uh, macrame design. Yeah. But when they're all put together like that, I think it really emphasises the variation and fabulous mm. colours that are within that gem. And they're locked in for all time. A bit like the inclusions in amber. Totally locked in for all time. What about you? I love fairy lights. I wish we could get away with proper fairy lights, because we only tend to get them out for decorations at Christmas time, don't we? Yeah, my sister has them in her kitchen all the time. Does she? Yeah. She's got fairy lights. I'm going to have to come up to Cumbria and yeah. see Christy. I'll oh, go with you. I need to speak to you about that later. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Am I in trouble? No. Oh. So, so just automatically assumed <laughs> I was in trouble then. <laughs> I need to talk yeah, to that, you. Yeah, when somebody goes, oh, I need to talk to you about that, you're like, right. <laughs> OK. OK, would you like to see your price point? What do you need to part with to own those? Not much, if you don't mind right. me saying, for Ethiopian opal. Well, for 84 centimetres of Ethiopian opal. And I, I, don't, I hope the colours are coming through in the studio, but oh my goodness me, that is a seriously good strand of nuggets. I can remember the very first 
strand that we had of this and it was launched with Mark. It was before I came to Jewelry Maker. Right, and I okay. watched and I bought the, yeah. the strand. How much was it? I think it was $24.95. That was, it was probably it's... a bit more than that. Yeah. yeah. And the quality is just getting better and better yeah. and better and yeah, better. Absolutely. I mean, and look I've still at that. got my, you know, I've still, I haven't actually done anything with them just yet, but uh, oh. they're fantastic. Oh, oh, Michael, you're so lovely. He says, Hi, everyone. The opal is fab. I've got two strands and I love them so much. Yeah. Oh, do you know, that just makes my heart go all giddy. Yeah. Because it, isn't it lovely that we make somebody message, not make, but encourage somebody to, or, you know, to message in like that. Just, I love them so much. And isn't it a lovely feeling when you do love something or someone? Yeah. It's Absolutely. a lovely feeling. Yeah, yeah. These, I mean, I, I'd love to crochet with these as well, actually, with the monofilament that we do in our yeah, um, yeah, yeah. threading packs, because then they're going to look like they're floating and it's going to allow the light to travel through them and just help them out. Agreed. Mm. Agreed, young. Yeah, I keep calling you young, young lady tonight. Are you impressed? It's just yeah. stuck in the head. It's all right. Call me, call me anything, really. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Don't, because I've only, I don't, because I haven't actually called you Alison, Alison yet. Alison, so you can even call me Honestly. Alison. Honestly. I, I wouldn't mind, I did it to Sarah. I mean, last night I did it to Rachel Norris. Rachel Norris, I think, by the end of the show on Sunday, thought she was Alison Terry. <laughs> I called it her that much. It was shocking. Poor. Mind you, not that Rachel minded, because you wouldn't mind being called Alison Terry, which she's no. so talented, but then so is Rachel, yeah. so is you, so is everybody else. Those appetites. Gosh, that's a nightmare. with the Scottish accent every time we say blue tonight. What we hear every night, like, blue. <laughs> every time the word blue comes on the screen. I'm not bringing, I'm not bringing cake in again with this much sugar before a show. It's really not helpful. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got such an infectious laugh, you are. <laughs> so sky blue. Oh wow. Come alive again on the skin, don't they? Yeah. Sky blue appetite. I just think they're fantastic. Those, those are from Kenya. Gosh. I think they are amazing, truly beautiful. Now we talk about everybody loving blue gemstones, and it's we, we, aren't we lucky? Because you think of the variety of blue gemstones we bring you here yeah, at Jewelry Maker. Lot, yeah. You know, we just have the Chrysocolla, we bring you lapis lazuli, we bring you sapphires, we bring you tanzanite, we bring you zircon in blue, we bring you the topaz in the blue, we bring you the apatite in the blue. That's just a name, but a few, blue diamonds even. Yeah. I mean, goodness me, we bring you so many variations of blue, don't we? So many. Just so incredible what our planet can deliver. I always think this sort of appetite, the neon blue appetite, uh, sorry, blue appetite, sorry, goes really well with our coloured uh, copper mm. coloured wire. Yeah. And the channel set into that is just absolutely just, just, It really fabulous. zings, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does. Uh, the lovely thing that I always have to hold that up away from the mat again. Again, if you love, there's a lot of people that collect clarity, as in, what we mean by clarity is completely eye clean, completely. Really, or certainly eye clean to the naked eye. Um, and again, see through with that beautiful color. Yes, there's a lot of people that love opaque as well, but there is something very high end. I think that luxury kicks in with, mm. with clarity, doesn't it? Yeah. With a sort Absolutely. of uh, gemstone with clarity. Really, really does. Okay, 25 cats of sky blue, stunning appetite. In those rondelles, lovely shape as we know. Oh, if I could do that, but I can't. Can you do that? Oh, she can as well. Did that hurt? A little bit. What? Don't do that again, no, then. She got a demo in a minute. Oh, that was so good. I can't do it though. I can't do it. That is amazing. I tell you what, you can write that one down for me. Appetite under ten. Never. 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 I have been spending a lot lately. I have. I tell you what, I can't. I'm, I'm addicted. You go through phases, don't you? Where you just can't stop. Yeah. And then suddenly sometimes you get to a point where you go, right, hang on a minute, I need to sell something, or I need to give something, I need to make a bit of room. <laughs> 9 95 that is... Do you know what I like as well? Now, you've used the tassels in your jewellery, haven't you? I certainly have. What a lovely colour of tassel look. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Yeah, I like that colour. One of my favourites. Do you remember when you used to go through a car wash and it looked like that? 
you remember? <laughs> they don't do them like that anymore, do no, they? they don't. Do you remember the proper big brushes like yeah. that? And you always have to get out and take your aerial off your car. <laughs> do you remember? Kids don't know they're born now, no, do they? they? Don't. No, they don't know they're born. Nine ninety-five. I'm one of the I don't go through a car wash. Well I do, but it's one where the men clean it for you. So you're surrounded by seven men. Yeah, but it's a good service, that, isn't it, where they hand-wash your car for you? I think it's ever so good. Yeah. We've got one called Victor Valet. I think it's ever such a good service. Men and women, but generally men there. But uh, it's a great service, I'd have your car washed like that. Mm. It's good, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> Which one, sorry? Um... Oh, sorry, it's about to mess up. Do you know, that's what is... What, can I just show you that there, look? I will show you in a second, sorry, but... Isn't that incredible? Do you think that is the same gemstone? Yeah. That is the same gemstone? You wouldn't... No, you wouldn't no, think No, thank it. you. This... I don't like this check. So come on, get close. I'm not going to change it again. Not live, <laughs> on it. OK. Peter Sight. Rare Peter Sight. Do you see my, my point to Katie there, though? I mean, you'd never think that was a no. same gemstone, would you? That is so ace. Rare dark greys we've got there, or that reddish, reddish, beautiful breccia aggregate. That's what it is in your Peter site. So it's basically a rock that is made up of fragments of the, um, embedded in a matrix. That's the effect. Excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. Sorry, excuse me. That is the effect that you get there. Now, I've got three in mine. You definitely get 135 carats. Um, it's comprised, effectively, of hawk's eye and tiger's eye. So, again, if you're looking for a great pendant to go with your tiger's eye that we had earlier in the show, that is perfect. Or if you've got any hawk's eye, then, uh, and, um, then that'll look gorgeous as well. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now then, just to show you as well the variation that I've got, I've got two huge ovals and that pear drop, teardrop, whatever you'd like to refer it as. MEVR 13, super beautiful, rare Peter Sight. It is fascinating, Peter Sight. Really, really is. You could just stare at Peter Sight for hours and hours and hours and never tire. It's fascinating. Really is. So we are now in... Oh, I can never say that place. Can you, can you say that one? I can never... It's my one that eludes me. Olivia. Say it. Olivia. Yeah, can you do it? I couldn't see it. Is it on the screen, is it? Yeah, at the bottom. Peter Sight from? Namibia. Thank you. It's one of the... It's one word. I can't... That and the one... You know the one when you can't... When you can't use... When you... What's the one with the D? When you can't get your words around the right way and... No. The one where you can't... Thank you. Say that word. Dyslexic. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two words I can't say. Oh, it's weird. Anyway, so a uh, beautiful Peter Sight, absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what I love about this? You know when I've just talked about it being hawk's eye or tiger's eye? You know in, in, in um, tiger's eye you have that single line or parallel line if you've got a cat's eye and it shimmies across the surface? Yeah. Well, this has got um, chatoyancy as well, but do you know why it's so swirly like that? It's actually described as a chaotic chatoyancy. Oh, Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's got the same sort of effect as you've got in your Chatoyan Sea and your Tiger's Eye, but instead of it being in a single line or parallel line in Cat's Eye, you've got this chaotic Chatoyan Sea. And again, it's because of this brecciated crocodilite inclusions, and it's what creates these beautiful swirls. It's kind of like, you know, the scream picture? Yeah. That it's like the background of that, it kind of looks a little bit like that, you know? The... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. But aren't they beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Do you know, um, we have got... Oh, my goodness me. Nice. Oh, please don't cut it, please. There you go. Where's the claw? 
We're off to Zambia. Tell you what, if you can get hold into your collection of a Zambian emerald. Wow. Come on, Claw, stop being naughty. I think I need lessons with this Claw. I don't think I'm very good with it. Mm, well, that'll do. So, that'll do, pig. Zambian emerald. There is the most unique blue-green to Zambia on their emeralds. And I wouldn't mind, but that is a w over one carat solitaire. That is one impressive piece of yeah, Zambian it emerald. 1.2 carats. Over a carrot of Zambian emerald. Right, now, you don't need me to explain this to you, I'm sure, because it's visually right there in front of your very eyes. But emeralds usually incl have inclusions. Okay? And um, genuinely, um, that is what people expect to see in, in an emerald, and, and they are loved for it. But there are some people, some collectors, some gemstone collectors, and some jewellery lovers who want to get the least inclusions possible in an emerald. Now you do that by, by buying one of three locations. You either go to Siberia in Russia to get one of their incredible, lovely light green emeralds. It's a very light lightness to those. Or you go to the more vivid uh, green, sort of much brighter green, deeper green, and you go off to Colombia. However, the emerald location said to deliver the least amount of inclusions in an emerald, bar none, bar Russia, bar Colombia is actually Zambian. Yes. And so if you, if you want an emerald, as you can see there, with hardly any inclusions to the naked eye whatsoever, you go for Zambian. A real collector's treat. And to get it over, uh, well, over a one carat solitaire, goodness me, wow. 44.95. No. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what, Katie? You're giggling. What did she just say? She said... Going under 20. Goodness me! That is brilliant. We're just, we're, gosh. Do you know, I'd buy that just so I have that in the collection to say I owned a 1.2 carat Zambian emerald. Well, actually, no, I'd nip off to the, um, we've got um, close to us, um, we've got the jewellery quarter, or uh, or obviously some of our beautiful guest designers that, that can actually um, set in silversmith, mm. silversmithing in sterling silver. I would have that properly set. I yeah. mean, that is just something else, isn't it? Something else, a 1.2 carat Zambian emerald. And a lot of people these days are going for, for emerald engagement rings. Yes, they are. Aren't yeah. they? A lot of um, popularity now surging towards. And do you know Steve Bennett that um, owns Gemporia, my cousin that sets up Jewelry Maker, he proposed to Sarah, he's then, uh, obviously he's uh, then fiance, with a diamond. And he said, I wish I knew now what I, you know, I wish I knew then what I know now. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, if I was to, prop to propose to her now, it would be with an emerald. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, well done, everybody. Brilliant price drop, hon. Thank you. How many of those left, darling? Oh. Less than 30. Oh, okay, good luck. Right then, oh my goodness me, the time is nearly upon us again, where we've only got an hour left of live telly, so do please join us after the break for a um, Dan and a kitten demo. Hi, I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to tell you about Wednesday, which is going to be a really interesting day. We've got Feldspar family showcases. So the Feldspar family is a really huge family of gemstones, and it includes everything from Amazonite, Labradorite, Moonstone, Andesine, a little bit of everything. And we've got all sorts of treats for you throughout the day. So tune in on Wednesday for Feldspar family showcases on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry maker? 
For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Hi, I'm Lucy and next week it's my birthday. Can you believe it? I'm going to be 19, sorry, 19, no, 21 again. I know. So would you like to join me next Thursday night? I can promise you lots of fun, a lot of cake, any excuse for cake, and amazing bargains. I've selected some extraordinary items and PR offers. There will be many. So I look forward to seeing you next Thursday for my birthday show. I'm Marie, the gemologist here at Jewelry Maker. I'd like to invite you to join me on my Trends and Gem shows on Thursday morning. We've got all the usual treats, uh, lots of geeky gem stuff, but also a very exciting new material has been handed to me. We've had it cut and faceted and tested, uh, and I'm bringing it to you. It's called Azurite Barite. Here it is. Very, very beautiful material, and I'm sure you'd love to know the story. It's very exciting. So join me on Thursday morning for my Trends and Gems show. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Tuesday tastic. Now then, we're going down under. Down under. Down under. That's Australian, in case you were wondering what my accent was there. Oh, down under. Uh, and yeah, it wasn't the best accent, was it? But you know, um, we've got. Did you get both of those strands? Oh, it's one long one. Oh my word. Well, that's when you know it's a long strand of muco. When you go, yeah. did you get both of them? Because it looked like there was two strands. It's actually two strands, but I thought this was two. Oh my word. Yeah. Would you go like choker design? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I would with that shape. Oh, look at that. I think that would look lovely, don't you? That is stunning. That wasn't an offer, by the way. <laughs> I did choker. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. Good job, the durable. Mm -hmm. Now then, um, th it's now a national park, but it used to be a sheep station, uh, the Mooka Creek. Um, uh, but uh, the Mooka Creek is the, basically, Mooka means running water. It's the ab Aboriginal word for running water. And um, that's, what just, pardon? <laughs> so, 
all of these colours that come out of the ground are completely natural. And if you have been fortunate enough to ever visit Australia and you've ever managed to go right into the sort of into the outback as well, you will know firsthand that these colours are all out there. And these beautiful colours, these pinks of the under under wing of the galah. I love that. It's such an Australian galah. <laughs> it's such an Australian bird, the galah. And uh, that is, I tell you what, I've got my cousin visiting um, Australia, uh, visiting the UK in November. And she hasn't been, she probably hasn't been over here for 30 years. And she is a Jillaroo, which is basically a female version of a Jackaroo, which is a, 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 a she's the only female in Australia to, or she, the, she was the first ever, and I think she's still the only female to run a station out in the outback. Oh, oh right. she's fantastically yeah. talented. But she's a little dot of a blonde little thing. <laughs> and as bad as an Australian as they come, my, my cousin, my brother's, um, my dad's brother's girl, she's lovely. Like, I'll have to bring her on here. Because she's so Australian. <laughs> just, and I want to see if she's got any mukai. I want to wait until she gets the jewellery maker. This is awesome Australia. And it really is. And, all, you know, my, my dad's just been with his um, partner, Valerie, 79. And she said she would move there tomorrow. I mean, it is the most incredible place. So what we're giving you is these huge, beautiful shapes, faceted slabs of uh, natural mukai with this, again, I must say, very, dare I say, bulbous rondelles. Yes. I think that's the right that description is, yeah. for those. And then we've got the favourite of many guest designer, the antique bronze wire. Both 0.4 to wrap and 1 mil for structure. It's very, 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 very lovely. Aren't they? They do go so well, they don't they? They certainly do. Copper wire does yeah. as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really. And mind you, champagne, gold, it all works. But I do think the antique couple, when you see um, Katie Joy, you'll understand how lovely that is. So, awesome Australia. Should be, because we have got these, I mean, what carrot weight is that one alone? Yeah, 300 carrots on the slabs alone. In total, actually, 350 carrots of moonkite there. We have mentioned that on the graph. Oh, gosh, that's so lovely. Oh, it's actually smiling at you, that jewellery. <laughs> Isn't it? It's like it's smiling with eyes and it's got its tongue out at you. Isn't it? It's like this tongue is sticking out, emoticon. Isn't it? It is though, in a, in a really nice yeah, one. Oh, you know, yeah. but it is, isn't it? You know that one that goes like that? That one looks like that. <laughs> um, anyway, £46, that beautiful piece on those rings. Oh, I love it. And you're only using what? One slab on two, two rondelles? Yeah. Brilliant. And it does go so well with that antique bronze wire. Oh. Right, Late Show Tuesday Tastic discounted price, please, lovely lady. Wow. In fact, could you pop divide that by four? Two reels of wire, two strands of gemstones. Six pound twenty-five. Six pound twenty-four. Six pounds and twenty-four pence. Wow, incredible. Mind you, to be fair, I think I'd actually, well, the way I'd work that out is go £12.48, £12.47 for the strands yeah. and throw the wire in for free. Because they're worthy of that mm. price point, those strands. They really, really are superb, fantastic. I love it that you've got... If you like, if you like a lot of chefs or a, a, a lot of us where we've got lots of beautiful mustards in the fridge and you've got your English mustard and you've got your grainy mustard and you've got your Dijon mustard and all those beautiful tones, you've got all those in there... Mm. Mixed in with those delicious, um, I would say almost, almost house brick red. Yes, yeah. You know, and beautiful chocolate browns. It's the most fantastic gemstone. And when you think there's no, there's no coloration, that's just straight out, of, straight out of the ground with a beautiful cut and a beautiful polish. You've clearly really enjoyed working with this kit, Katie. Yeah, Love. I really have. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Uh, right then, £24.95. Are we okay to go to a demo? Is that all right? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Because you were, you were busy playing then, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to... I'm kind of going to show you a couple of bits and pieces. Okay. You know, just so we can sort of have a look at sort of the start of the pendant. Yeah. But I thought I'd show you a few things that you could do that I actually haven't done here that if you are new to... Brilliant. Because I think this is a great kit for, for a beginner if you want to sort of start doing your okay. wire work and things like that. Um, now, I think it was it. I think it was with Rachel Norris on Sunday that you were doing the gizmo work. So that is literally with the gizmo. Was Actually, it? it's Alison Terry in the morning. 
Oh, you, it, <laughs> don't you me. start. <laughs> oh, my word. It now. Yes, she, it was. You're right. Rachel yes. did talk about a little bit of gizmo, but yeah. she didn't show it. Yeah. Alison demoed uh, yeah. it because we had the deluxe yes. gizmo on the yeah. morning show. So that's literally just made with that. So okay, brilliant. You know, so, um, so obviously we've seen that. So that was on Sunday morning then, if you want to go back to YouTube. It was indeed. Look at that. Yeah. So I just thought I'd sort of go through bits and pieces of the kit. So... Um, We've seen various weaves and things like that, and I'm always kind of going through sort of different weaves. So I just thought I'd go through a couple Brilliant. of the re weaves for now. Okay. Um, again, this is very organic. I literally just sort of start off a weave and then see, just kind of face up the stones to the wire and okay. see where I, I want to go. I don't really have a, a plan as such. Okay. I know that I want to sort of create a pendant. That's you just let it organic Probably clean. about okay. as far as it goes. So... What we're going to do is I'm just going to take some of the 0.4 wire, like so, and then these are just some of the different weaves that we've that we've done. So just cut. Oh, your lovely mum's <laughs> message, dear. Wow, Katie, what nice jewellery. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, you're mum. Oh. <laughs> She's not been very well, actually. Has so, she? No, she's had a little bit of a sickness bug, so, but she's getting better now. Oh, so. I hope you feel better soon, lovely. Oh, so, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, so I'm just going to do... I literally just take three pieces of our wire that we've got there. Now, obviously, depending on how much decoration you want to do um, around your pendant is depends on how much... You, uh, how much wire you take. And also, if you want um, to use now... We have had, on the gem setting day, there was some of the um, prong set um, clamps that you can get. It's like the wooden... Oh, yeah, the, the wood, wooden that you put the wedge in it. Yeah. I use that quite a lot for... A lot of professional wire, jewels for, use um, for wire work. Mm. I put my wire work in there. So it's just something a little bit more substantial to yeah. hold on to. So Brilliant. if you're new, it, it just sort of gets rid of all of the wire and it doesn't make it seem so daunting. So you could do that. So... As we see here, I've got two wires and I've got my point four. And um, again, what I also do is sort of put the point four in half. So then I work in half. So I, I work on the right half and then I'll finish that and then work on the left half. Okay. So then you know you've got the right amount of yep. wire to work with and you're not going to run out at the end. But it's not so much of a problem if you do. So literally just going to wrap around twice and then we'll bring in a third wire like so and then one two like so and then your your wire is always popping out the at the back of your your work there and then bring that one and two and then one and two so then we're now sort of creating a nice two on two and then yep. just give that a little bit of a gentle squeeze together and then as you can see now that's just building up yep. really really nicely so this is a good one if you want to um, use it with cabochons so you could use this around your cabochons etc so again just two and two two and two just a nice little decorative sort of weaver this is another good one as well if you want to make bangles or what yeah. have you so if you were lucky enough to get the bangle mandrel yesterday no, oh. Sunday um, you could then do this and then um, shape that around the bangle mandrel so if I, I just show that. that weave there to camera two like so so if you wanted to you could literally just splay them apart or if you wanted to you can tuck them together really nicely and tightly so just to, okay. to get them all together like so and then, let's say we want to introduce a gemstone. So, hi, hello, gemstone. So we're now literally just going to pop our moo kite onto right here, onto there now. Just grab my pliers and just do that nice and gently. Okay. And then we can bring that up like so, and then we can carry on weaving okay. with our wire, which yep. is what I've done on this particular piece here. Mm -hmm. So we've now brought in our moo kite and popped that on. And then I've just carried on on this side with a two and four. So we've literally got a nice sort of like gizmo effect going along the top. And then we've got a just a double 
weave just going along the bottom. So it's kind of the same principle as I've just done on, on the two and two on there, but just with our two gemstones. And the third um, piece of wire is just popping around to the back of our work, like okay. so for the moment, just to prevent that from um, spinning around. But we're also going to use this wire in a second. Okay. So just move this weaving wire out of the way. So with what we've done on here, I'm literally just going to create a little bit of a swirl, just a little bit of a decorative feast on the side of our pendant. So we've got something that looks like that. So don't worry about it flapping around at the moment because we're going to secure it in a second Okay. with this piece of wire just here. So now what we're going to do is just bring that across. Just push that down like so. So now we've got our weaving wire and what I want to do is just sort of add a little bit of texture. Okay. So I'm going to bring in one of the smooth rondelles that we've got. Like so we'll bring that all the way down. And because we've also got the um, support of our three wires just on the side here, literally just going to turn that to the side and then on the far wire there, just bring that round over here because otherwise it's going to I'm just going to wrap that round a couple of times. One, two, three, four, maybe four times. There we go. So we just wrap that round four times. So now that is in place. Okay. Then what we're going to do with this wire now is basically cage it onto our wire. So you just need to hold it there for a second. And then you're literally just going to build up a bit like a bezel. So we're yeah. just creating a little bit of a bezel. If you wanted to, you could gizmo around the uh, mm -hmm. wire and then just create a little bit more of a, a texture. So then we've now got our kind of bezel and then you've got this little bit here so if you wanted to you could then turn that into a swirl. Yeah. And for now we'll just pop that around the back just like so. So now that is keeping that stone in place mm -hmm. like so and then we can then carry on with another weave if you want to, just move that out of the way, just there. Pop that up there. And then again, you could carry on either doing the same weave or doing another weave there. Okay. Now, um, just as you were saying, I was just yep. playing with some wire. This is literally just grabbing a couple of pieces of wire like so. And I'll just quickly show you one. To, and I literally, if you don't want to do any of the weaving, but you want to sort of create a sort of different kind of pendant, literally just got two wires together, and we're literally just going to create a crazy pattern, I suppose, a bit like crazy paving, yeah. I suppose, but with wire. So just manipulate the wire around, and this wire is really, really nice. Even though it's a one mil, it's really nice and malleable. So you can do that. And then what you can do is bring in the one that I've just created. Mm -hmm. And then in between each of the um, kind of apertures that you've created, then yeah. you could then pop in your gemstones oh, and nice. then you can then sort of wire weave them in. So yeah. let's just for example, pop that up there. And I always just leave a tiny little tail at the, well, not a tiny little tail, about an inch of a tail, just, just for one to uh, to keep keep a hold of it. There we go. Pop that in. Whee! That's not a zip wire, isn't yeah. it? Does that? And then you can then just use your wire just to sew these into all of your apertures and then that's just another design that you could do beautiful love i that. mean you could do that with a, a bangle or yep. a pendant or you could make a, a really big yeah exactly a really mm. big cuff yeah sort of style bangle or something and then you could do that all the way around and then you could probably have some of our uh, the bigger moon kites just off the top yeah, there that'd you look know? Lovely. So, that is just a, another idea, and I have used the um, the spaces in between in the ring as well. Yep. So, just you know, make sure that you you use all the little bits and pieces that you get with your kit. So, that is beautiful, really lovely, nice. I know that two quite different ways to set those yes, as well. So that's really yeah. good. And then I have to, I, I did start doing another ring. So, mm. and that's literally on the same sort of principle as as the uh, 
the pendant there. So if you wanted to carry on weaving up the wires just up there, or if you just wanted to create a little bit of a bezel set, so you could bring that around to that side, and then, you know, just, and then you would wrap your uh, wire around the uh, shanks of your, yep. your ring there, and then that's, that's, that's what we've got as well. there, you know, so that's just like one of the rings that we've got there. So I've literally just done the weave on one side, and then pop the, pop that onto there. It's beautiful. I love that ring that you that you finished there as well. So it just looks yeah, so raw and fabulous, just, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the the gemstones themselves, you don't want to hide them too much with the wire work. No, so no, that is just incredible. Thank you so much, beautiful That's all girl. Right. Can't you read? Somebody said what? Can I count the big? Of course I can. I'll do anything I'm asked within reason. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. 21. My age. Yep, all right, Pinocchio. <laughs> yep, there you go. So uh, that's just incredible. I mean, they're just over a pound each with the yeah. old price of the kit, aren't they? So I was looking, we were both looking at the big screen then, weren't we? Like, <laughs> yep. So they go, sorry, I didn't count. I do apologise. Can't get the stuff, can you? You can't get the stuff, Katie, love. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, 23. Right, thank you. Oh, I've got the flowers as well. Oh, love. Wouldn't that be lovely with the kit, love? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favourite strands of mukai ever. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I love it. I absolutely love it. The quality of these mukites is off the scale. Five petal flowers. Just lovely. Now, I will do a count before anybody asks. I'll go, no, I'm going to get in there first. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I can't confirm. Oh, do you know, I was just about to say, I can't confirm twenty-seven. And then I looked up and said it'd be the carrot way. And actually, yes, I can confirm <laughs> can. I'll give you 27. I completely didn't read the graphics. Yes, I can. Now, isn't that awkward? Can you imagine if I hadn't counted 27 then? And it says 27 pieces on a strand, and well, I've yeah, got 26. Been, yes. <laughs> we wouldn't have minded if it said 28, but I've, no, 27. I haven't looked up. Move cut in a flower. Move, I'm just. And the. The shape of those, the quality of those, with all the tones that we want. Yeah. Oh, love them. So, we divide that by 27, because you guarantee 27 five petal flowers at 15 mil each. Oh, in fact, don't bother dividing that then. Don't bother dividing that, because we want to um, go a bit naughtier for you. Okay, now this is a lowest ever price. Could I borrow a white bust, please, Leah? <laughs> Thank you. 9.95. Thank you. Can I just show this on there? Because these look amazing. When we first launched these, they were all set, they were set into whole necklace pieces. You all right there? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think they look beautiful. Let me just show you that now. Hang on, can you, oops, because I'm, can you just press that one down, that little one, that cheeky one, thank you, thank you. Look at that. You would be, you would be tempted to just make it into a whole design, wouldn't you, to, mm. to, to yeah. do you not think? I absolutely love that. <laughs> I think you might be right, Adam. Adam says that I think it'll go beautifully with your top, Zena. I think you might be right. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry, that was very inappropriate. Actually, he's not wrong. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? They are, they're absolutely stunning. Did, did that mean... Hang on, I was attempted to... Uh, is that... How much is that each? We, we know there's 23. 
eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, yeah, twenty-seven, 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 yeah. Somebody help right. me. I'm not well. No. I'm not well. It really is a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's not like the ones in the kit, you know. Yeah, very similar. Because you might not have been able to stretch the whole kit. You might just have fancied these. A little bit of what you fancy does you good, doesn't it? It certainly does. <laughs> 50 carats of mookite. And it is a one location gem. So I know sometimes we inadvertently click on the wrong box at the bottom and it says Austria. And it's like, no, they only come from the Mooka Creek in Australia. You cannot get them from anywhere else on this planet. One location gem stones usually, usually drive the price up. Think of your Tanzanite, think of your Sarite. They usually drive the price up, don't they? They certainly do. Not your Mookite. No. The Australians are very generous when it comes to the Mookite, price-wise. FGVX42. The price on the lecho is under a tenner. Under ten pounds. Have you finished all your truffle shoes, by the way, Leah, for your birthday? Not, not yet. Oh, you've still got some of that left, have you? Oh, no, it was a big block. It was a big block. Is it nice with the truffle? Mm, got a black truffle cheese. Ooh. Mm, only the best for our Leah. With truffles in it. FGVX42. I bought some pasta the other day, actually. Pasta ravioli with spinach. A ricotta type, wasn't ricotta, but a version of cheese with truffles. Did you like it? Oh, Neil, I, did, I didn't try it. He took it home. I oh, know. I don't really like truffles. Don't you? Mm. What about chocolate truffles? Belgian no, truffles. No, I don't like them. Oh, don't no. You? Mm. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you did it. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Oh, this is getting... I mean, when I say oh. we bring you every great big size, shape and variation of mood <laughs> cart, we're not kidding, are we? And they'd all go well with the tigers like we had in they the beginning of the show. Right. You, know you took the words right out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, da 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 I am not making up songs. These are real songs. Honestly. That was a beautiful... Do you think a ring? Were they too big or could you get away with that? you could get away. Because it is a rock. A nice juicy cocktail ring, definitely. Honestly, it's like with Philip and Sorry. Ballad, Ollie go, isn't it? It's just nothing you can do, is there? No. Once you've got the giggles, that is it. And every time you look at somebody, <laughs> that's it. It's terrible. I don't feel comfortable calling that a, a nugget. It's a boulder. No, it is a it's boulder. It's an absolute yeah. boulder. I'm sorry. I'm refusing to say that N word. It's a, it's a boulder. Now, I bet you somebody wants to know how many of those as well, because everybody wants to know that, for some reason, you all wanted to know the amount of the messaging in. Okay. Gosh, really yeah, unusual yeah. ones on there as well. One, two, three, four. I mean, they're massive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Look at these. Nine, no, 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 nineteen. 19. So I think that was so ahead of its time, that song by it Paul was, Hardcastle. It? Yeah. Okay, that, that looks actually like a giraffe. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't, it? doesn't it? Yeah. That looks like a giraffe's body. Wow. And I mean, that isn't the only unusual. Look at, look at these. They're absolutely <laughs> glorious. Do you know, when we were in South Africa on safari, we didn't see very many giraffes, you know? No. No. We saw one or, one or two, if... if a, why do you start when I went um, scuba diving to the Maldives? I, we only, in the whole time we dive for two weeks, saw one lobster. One lobster. Oh, are they hiding? Oh, 
They go, Zena's coming. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Now then, thing is with Mukite, um, including those rondelles actually, but certainly those big slabs, those big boulders we've just had. Some people say, you know, I love Mukite, but I want to make a little bit more, a little more feminine, a little mm. more delicate. Yeah. Got it for you. I've got it just, we've got it just right, I think, for those of you that are looking for that in Mukite. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, they're beautiful. They props, really are, aren't, aren't they? they? Yeah. And much more delicate. Mm. I know it's still that lovely brightness of Mookite. Really, really lovely, bright, golden, mustard. Definitely a Dijon. A Dijon. Uh, and then that lovely sort of... As a, I, 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 it's just like a conquer tone, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? yeah. They are just so... And I, I don't always talk about Mookite being pretty, but I really do think these are very pretty indeed. So 13 by 6 to 17 by 10 mil. Oops, a daisy. You'd never believe, you would, you would genuinely believe that we'd heat treated these, wouldn't you, in some way? Oh, would yeah. enhance them in some way. But those are totally in the work of Mother Nature. All it's totally unique to this yeah. very special place on, on our planet in Australia, in the Mooka Creek. They're just lovely, aren't they? They're lovely, really beautiful. And, and again, you wouldn't think such a contrast of colours would all work so well together, but again, they just yeah. all seem to be part of the same family, don't they? Mm. As if they're just, there's that wonderful, intimate relationship with one another. It's beautiful. We had some um, Mookite um, cubes on not so long, long ago. I think it was on, I don't know whether you brought them or not. What, darling? The uh, Mookite cubes. Yeah. They're all quite yeah. orange in yeah, tone. Yeah. These would look lovely they with They really would, wouldn't yeah. they? They're just the most that for me is a real joy to actually be getting um smooth pairs in mukite and i tell you what can i can i just show you with the um from the kit with the rondelles because hmm. i actually think yeah oh yeah yeah i think you need both oh yeah. my word see when i say that see, you know you see what now that was in the kit but we did have a strand afterwards that was on its own and I think we went to 8 95 didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we did, we, and there is a few left, so we did um, take that one down to 8 95 okay? And I do think that looks absolutely, I'm trying to hold them all together, absolutely fantastic together, doesn't it? So you, we did have those in the kit, or they were sell, uh, brought to you a moment ago, standalone at 8 95 there are a few left. Couple that with those, oh my goodness me, that is going to work so well, so, so well. I need to put those on again. Oh, counterarmor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on my strand. I don't guarantee. Okay, now the good news is. The good news is we are going to beat that buy price for you. And remember, do please, because I know it can be confusing for people new to the channel. No matter at no matter what point you check out. Regardless of if you checked out at 1995, you will all then get charged the discounted price. So it doesn't matter if you checked out and it was 1995. Miraculously, magically, we will change that price for you to 12.95, and that's every single one of you gets the whoopsie price. Claire, thank you, Zena and Katie. I'm curled up on the sofa with my chihuahua, chihuahua. and I have a oh no, a sinus infection. Oh. You've brightened up my evening. Ooh, oh, sinus infections are they're yeah, not nice. Right. They really knock you about, don't they? Soon. Little chihuahua. Yeah. Aww. Oh, little chihuahua. Oh, hope you feel better soon. I'm glad yeah. we've cheered you up a bit, darling. It's horrible when you feel rubbish, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. No. Our lovely Claire with her little chihuahua, all snuggled up on the sofa. Oh, it's lovely when you get all snuggled up on your sofa. Yeah. Isn't it? I've got my little blanket on my sofa, my little throw, and all snuggling under it like a little head jog, like a little mole. <laughs> I do though. I don't feel. It doesn't matter how warm it is or cold it is. I always want to get into a little, yeah. little throw on the sofa, don't you? Do you? Yeah, I have a, a duvet. Do you <laughs> on your sofa? Just like I have it over the back a, of the a sofa. A full duvet. A single duvet. Yeah. yeah. And then I stick. I get in the corner. Well, on the corner sofa. Like, 
Do I have one of them? Is it a slank kit? Well, I have got one of those as well. They've got heated ones, haven't they? Uh, have they? Yeah, well, they do heated ones now. Oh, you bet. plug them in. What's a slank kit? Slank one where it all goes through your arms. You look like you're in a big blanket, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Leah, you haven't lived. 12, and that's what Claire needs. That's what Claire needs with her yeah. poorly sinus infection. <laughs> What's in there? Because it's empty at the minute. One job she has. Yeah. Hang on, we've got to wait while she's deciding. She's just deciding. She's. <laughs> you, that's that's. Are you happy now? Okay. Oh, hello. Dendro Opal. Oh, I love Dendro Opal. Dendro Opal. Ooh. I will never, ever, 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 ever tire of looking at this gemstone. Because. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to show all of them if I can because they, they're. They're almost. Indescribable in their beauty. Just, do you know what I mean yes, by that? Yeah. I mean everywhere. Your eye just goes there, then it goes there, and it goes there, and it goes because it just can't seem to. There is. They're all trying to, and successfully, I might add, outdoing one another. Mm. Aren't they? It's like that to me. It's like you know when you see some hopefuls go for an audition for a dance or singing yeah. audition, and they're all trying to impress the judges. <laughs> it's like it's very own Britain's Got Talent, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? And they're all trying to outdo one another. You could have the winning dendrite opal on this strand. You can just hear it, can't you? Um, there's definitely a few golden buzzards going on here. Look at them. Wow. Now, I believe these have been priced absolutely incorrectly. There you go. I'm just saying. Just put it out there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 on there. 20 dendrite opal. Not agate. Dendrite opal for fourteen ninety five. Look at Beautiful. that. Oh. Go that. That is fantastic. Do you know at that price I would even consider doing that? It's like a mayoral chain for when you're a mayor. Mm. Oh yeah, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. That is just breathtaking. I mean, can you imagine a fantastic white or black or silver maxi yeah. dress and oh, then that stunning. as the main yeah. stunning piece? Those are gorgeous. And a full-on 38 centimetre strand as well. You can see there that's a different strand altogether being photographed in the, in the recording box there. And they're all completely and utterly stunningly unique. These are also from uh, Dan Anna in Australia. Fourteen ninety-five, brilliant, brilliant deal. I think it takes that takes it down to about seventy-five p each. That's really good. It's brilliant, mm. brilliant. Oh, tell you what, you've got you've gone to the right chunky area of the vault, haven't you? Chunky, chunky. Are these rhodonite. Wow, nice. They're they're big for rhodonite, aren't mm. they? Hello. Do you have any road tonight? No? No. Explain yourself. I've just never been able to get it. Oh. Simple as. Can I just show you this look? Look, 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 look. Goes ever so well, road tonight. It certainly does, yeah. It really does. Look at that. Just go well, oh doesn't gosh, it? Road yeah. night mixed in with them. Um, people don't. That's why it's great when you have some of these gemstones together in the studio because you don't. You, I, I wouldn't ever probably, probably unless I got them in the studio now, thought to put road night with them. Um, no. Mood carpet. It totally it, works. It certainly does work. It really yeah. does, doesn't it? Bringing out these gorgeous tones here, look. If you just show that together, look. This is been made for one another, isn't it? about the dendrite <laughs> opals being incorrectly priced. Uh, right. Right. Okay, forget what gemstone it is. Can I just draw your attention to the carrot weight? Yeah. 
710 carats of beautiful rhodonite. And again, not in nuggets, but absolutely massive, huge tumbled stones again. Yeah. Brilliant deal, 595. I'm going to should, can we work out how much that is per gemstone of that size? Do you mind? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 25. 25. Be really keen to know what you've done there. It's one of them. <laughs> Look at her face. 24p. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Can we just check that again? What did I count? You said 25. Yeah. How is it? Are you doubting, doubting the calculator? Maths was never my best thing, but it just didn't... What was your best subject at school? Drama. I mean, <laughs> you can't tell, can you? Dra <laughs> drama! What was your best subject? Drama! <laughs> you can't tell, can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, is it? Oh, magnesite. Cool. I've never seen it like that before. That's really cool. Look at them. Oh, man. They are the best shape. They are. They are the... really, really what, Isn't cool. that lovely for the summer? Yes. Do you know you wear that like that? You could. Actually, lovely with um, a little bit of wire work in between gizmo mm -hmm. wire. Oh, and then yeah. you can do like a yeah. bangle with that. That's yeah, really that look, cool. would yeah. look lovely, wouldn't it? Look at that. I absolutely love them. What have we described those as? What sort of, what sort of, because they're not a cube. What have we called them? Is it a cuboid, is it? Because that's like a, a, rec, a big rectangle, isn't it? I don't know, we've described them as a long square here before, which isn't possible, so who knows? <laughs> it still, still makes me laugh. It's a long square. No, that'll be a rectangle then. <laughs> oh, it still makes me laugh. Anyway, honestly, we just, anything that's random, we just call a nugget. Those are really cool shape. Yeah, Can cool. I try them on? Can I try them on? See, even with a busy, bright sort of top like that, they absolutely demand the attention. It brings out sort of like that, even though it's cream, you've got like, mm. it sort of brings out the, the cream it? bits and yeah. And I tell you what, on a scooped sort of round neck top, which a lot of us wear, don't yeah. we? A lot of t-shirts. I mean, I'm just looking at um, your neckline, Leah. Yours is rounded. Becky's is, yours is. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what Amelia's got on. She's got a blue t-shirt, <laughs> hasn't she? But doesn't it, yeah. doesn't it, Frame that neckline really well. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? I really like these. 98 carats of magnesite. Oh, Adam wanted to show me his neckline. What are you wearing, Adam? Let's have a look. Let's have a look, Adam. Stand up. It's not scooped, is it, darling? Said that's not helpful, sweetie. That's why I didn't involve you. <laughs> I see when they feel left out, they I get know. ever so funny, don't they? Gets ever so funny. He does when he's, you know. He's the only boy with five women. That's hard I mean, work. It is hard work, isn't it, for any man? Either that or very lucky. Well, he always calls himself lucky, but I do think it's a big ask. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Not that he gets a word in very often. <laughs> so, magnesite, beautiful magnesite, big, 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 big pieces, fabulous shapes, and all going down to. We're still in Australia, by the way. Six ninety-five. That's lovely. I just like the, 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 very, the difference in shape on those. Yeah. Oh, how bright they are as well. I think they go quite nice with the Botswana agate we had earlier. Oh, yes, they would, actually. You've got yeah. a lot of silver in the mm. Botswana agate, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. Just lovely. We've, can somebody remind us this evening? We've got, we all go, well, most of us go home a certain way. And the road shut off. Did you check if it was for 11 nights, by the way, Adam? Mm, I think it's for 11 nights. And anyway, we went out last night and we just, it took us completely, I didn't know how to get home. And uh, anyway, so we can go a different direction, but we've all, we've got to remember myself, Becky and Adam to turn left. 
Gotta turn left out the building, Think not the right. Song. Turn left. To the left, to the left. But then it goes to the right, to the right, and then you're in trouble then, because then we're in. No. Oh, doesn't it? No. Or oh, does it only go to the left? Yeah, she, she just sings to the left, or to the left. Or could think of the Rocky Horror, it's just a jump Something to the, the left. left. And we go, I know that thing no. goes, oh. <laughs> mm. And then a step to the right. <laughs> With your hands on your hips. Then your knees in touch. I better not sing anymore. Anyway, sorry, I'm showing you again. Don't know why. Oh, are we doing that again? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Have we got some left? Team of the day. These have to be my uh, display cabinet mustard. Yeah, there is no two ways about it. Get each one of them was 445 carats, yeah. wouldn't you? Oh, that's a thing. We both so you did have both for that. Okay, no, apparently. Um, no, okay. No. Definitely both. Okay. And apparently all the samples that we've seen so far, there are two. Now, I can't guarantee you two. It might be one at 445 carats, but all the samples we saw had got two. That is like owning a mountain of amethyst, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? That's beautiful. I've got a little shop of curiosities and this yeah, you go said in that. There. Wow. Definitely. Massive, rough, beautiful. Pi oh my goodness me! So this would the I take it then? Wouldn't we class this then as dog tooth amethyst because it's chevron? And Chevron Amethyst is dog tooth amethyst. Mm. So I have to check with Marie while we've not called that dog tooth because that's exactly what dog tooth is. It's white calcite in chevrons in amethyst. So um, we'll have to double check. But my goodness me, with that what I love about when you see things like this and you see the geodes and you see these rough pieces like this, you get to actually see that to me is a section of our planet from below the Earth's crust, isn't it? Yeah. And you actually get to see the formation of these gemstones. Uh, under the ground, don't you think? Oh yeah, that's fantastic. You, we've lost you, haven't you? Yeah. You're just not being rude, but you just sat there gawping <laughs> at them, aren't you? I've lost Katie. She's just absolutely smitten. Look at those! But what a wonderful piece of our planet to actually own. They're fantastic. They are, aren't they? Don't they glisten as well? Look, they're such a good talking point as well. Yeah. Though, aren't they? That's the kind of thing that you have on, you know, at a dinner party at, yeah. the, at the dinner table. Isn't it? I always remember I watched her come down with me. Other programs are available, but she'd got as a centerpiece before on the meal. It was a whole conversation piece. Was um, all about this uh, am amethyst geode. It was massive, and of course everybody at the table was asking about this amethyst geode, and it was really interesting. Yeah. That would suggest that her food was naff, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, because it really let your food speak for yourself, wouldn't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever go on something like that? Can you cook? You good cook? Um, yeah, I would go on mm. something like that, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I can cook, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always makes me laugh when Lee Evans talks about that programme. Can't cook, won't cook. Don't cook, then. <laughs> <laughs> Just think that's hilarious. Uh, somebody's messaging, are they au naturel? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, they are. Huge pieces of chevron amethyst in these great big rough pieces. I'll just show you on uh, off the board actually, because I think they look better off the board, don't they? I mean, isn't that lovely to just have loose? Don't you think? In fact, I tell you what, this would be lovely for, especially if you do make a lot of pearl pieces or amethyst pieces. This would be lovely to drape the yeah. gemstones over for photography. Yeah, absolutely. Wouldn't it? Mm. Don't you think? I'm just give you, let me show you what I mean by that. Oh, I tell you, I'm not using this chair again. It might give you backache. There you go, look. Look at that. Yeah, stunning. Does look nice, doesn't it? Smiley face. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just your wall of foam there and then, isn't it? 
gosh, I didn't know the price was that low. So I went out for lunch today with a friend, and um, so I was, I was, I was, um, I was in the shower when the deal of the day was on this morning. I'd, I'd seen them, but didn't know what price mm. it went. I was a nudie doody when the deal of the day was on, but I didn't message him. <laughs> and, uh, and then I went out for lunch. I didn't see them on the afternoon shows. <laughs> <laughs> didn't show. It's an image you don't need. I hope you've all eaten. Um, yeah, so I didn't see. So I had, I knew we'd got them, and I'd seen them previously in the promo, but I didn't know what price we were going to. Wow. That is pretty superb, isn't it? How many do we have available? Oh, we've got less... Oh, OK, so we're limited on that. OK, well, I, I guessed as much, but they are absolutely lovely. Beautiful photography. Well done, Michael. Well done, Anthony or Anthony. Well done, Lorraine, Margaret, Suzanne, Linda, Claire, Adele, Debbie, Bab, Sandra. I should say Barbara, shouldn't I? Because I don't know whether Barbara likes being called Babs. I'm not sure, so we shouldn't shorten and abbreviate, should we? Do people abbreviate your name at all? Or do you just get Kate or Katie? Kate. Kate. A lot of people call me Kate. What do you prefer? Doesn't really bother me. Don't Katie. Kate. Kate, Katie. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Reedy. Reedy. Yeah. Quite like Reedy. <laughs> Got any nicknames? No. That's well, what do you think? <laughs> They all went, you should hear your nickname. I don't think I probably want to hear my nickname. Just keep it amongst yourselves. Yeah, just keep it amongst yourselves. It's really fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to ignore. <laughs> anyway, 445 carats of fantastic chevron amethyst in those huge pieces for you at 9.95. Well done. Congratulations. Brilliant. Oh, I just had a right crunch all up my neck. Oh, 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 it went. <laughs> now that we've bought you some lovely, um, yeah, bought you some lovely dendrite opals in those big slabs earlier, I've got the perfect thing to go with them to compliment them. Mm hmm. Stop. about jewelry maker obviously you lot you amazing gorgeous oh rabble but I love the fact that we give you such a such a, a range of gemstones but I also love the fact that we give you in the different sizes and different shapes mm. because I'm actually quite a believe it or not as loud as I am I'm quite a subtle jewelry wearer I'm not a big statement piece yeah. I'm trying to learn to be better at that be more bold and be, be more confident but I do tend to go more understated you know yeah I do so although those dendrite uh, um, opals only were absolutely gorgeous um, I if I had to choose between the huge pieces and the, the smaller fuss I, I would go for these because it's just who I am it's just what I wear so I love the fact that we that we bring you all 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 sizes and shapes because there's something for everyone and you know all your favorite gemstones yeah. isn't there Look at that. Great graduation again. So yeah, if you do fun, want to set that into a full necklace, mm. it's all the work has, done, has been done for you. And I, I tell you what, it's, do you know what's something worth trying? You're going to think this is never such an odd thing for me to suggest to you, but I think to, in order to appreciate the way that we graduate these strands, do you know what you ought to do once when you've got a bit of time? Honestly. Um, is actually cut the, cut the ends off, mix them all up in a pot, and then see how long it takes you to restrand it like that. Oh my word! You'll be surprised. But honestly, I think you, I think we, ought, I think you ought to try that because we talk about appreciating things in life, and we are human beings. We can't help but take things for granted. But I'd really, if you, if you, you know, if you can be bothered, I'd be really, I'd be really intrigued, interested to see, you know, how, how long it took you yeah. to recreate that, which you'd mix them all up into a into a pot. Mm. Natural Australian fabulous dendrite opal, which is beautiful for a totally a unisex gemstone. There's no question about it. 
Again, it's got the monochrome look with those beautiful desert tones mixed in, which is all the colours. It's just lovely. Dendrite Opal is one of the most intriguing of the opals, one of the most fascinating. I think the likes of your rare boulder opal, your dendrite opal, mm. your mosaic opal, they've got such fascination. Um, they're, they're, I mean, if I had to choose between an Ethiopian, I'll be honest, for me personally, with an Ethiopian opal with all the play of colour versus a dendrite, I'd go dendrite personally for me every time. Yeah. I know that might be outrageous to some people and some people might be going, you are kidding me. But honestly, I love play of colour, I love fairy light colour, but there's something about the... The, the boldness of, yes, of dendrite yeah. that just and that monochrome escort yeah. that just for me works it really does it's a star buy it's the late show it's the last late show star buy this evening c p r u zero one i genuinely believe that both strands of dendrite opal this evening have been priced absolutely way below what they should be which is fantastic news for you Four thirty. In fact, oh no, sorry, I, was, I thought about the ruler to hand because I think that's longer than thirty centimeters. I really do. That's a that's a really good mm. length strand. It's beautiful, and it's got a huge. A lot of the time we bring you the dendrite opal in just the black and the whites, but actually to get all the sandy yeah, desert get, tones yeah. in there as well, that's brilliant. That's giving you all the colours of dendrite that you want in one go. Six ninety five. Six ninety five. Dendrite opal. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. That is a steal for dendrite opal, isn't it? Absolute steal. Okay. Now, Katie Reed, Reedy, Reedy, Reed, when are you back with us, my gorgeous girl? I'm back on the 8th. Of May? No, of Oh, I was going to say. I was <laughs> saying, where are you going? Now the eighth, what's that? Monday? To Monday, middle late. Um, I, I know you're not on the morning because I'm, I'm on, on the, the morning, late, and that's not you. I yeah. know that for a I fact. Think I'm, I'm on the late. late. You're on the late show. I think so, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's on the late show. That is uh, on Monday. Um, so that'd be lovely. Thank you very much. That's all right. You, no, I'm not going to say what it is, but can I just? All I'm going to say to Katie is a very big good look from all of us, all of us here at Jewelry Maker. Oh. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. When uh, when she's ready, she'll tell you. But uh, in the meantime, a massive good luck to Katie. So just one last look before we say goodbye to you this evening. We'll let you go to uh, sleep or watch your television or what it is, ever it is, or we'll start watching the morning show all over again. Okay. Dendrite opal, thirty-four carats, fantastic for six ninety-five. Uh, right then, you naughty lot. Very naughty, sugar. <laughs> sugar fired up lot. Mm. Leah, yes. darling, thank you. Amelia, the best tea maker on the planet. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, I'd say that, say that if she was here, look, Amelia is the best tea maker, bar none, isn't she? Mm. Adam, thank you, sir. Thank you for keeping us all as ladies in check. Yes. And the wonderful, the beautiful Becky. She I took them all for a drink last night and the bar was shut. We didn't, we did, I couldn't even treat them to a little soft drink and a bag of crisps on the way home. Couldn't even do that. Anyway, can I just say thank you for all your lovely messages. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for staying up and watching. Uh, do carry on with the morning show or tune in live tomorrow morning at 8am. Take care. <laughs>